All right, so let me go in here. Uh, you shouldn't be able to hear anything yet. It's obnoxiously loud. Okay. I'm terrified of what your sound is. All right, hang on. Just a second. I'm going to share with you, chat. This is supposedly volume of three on the music. Just to be clear. Uh, how do you do in West for Dead after you got to the farm? Oh, West of Dead? Oh, I got straight up murdered. Uh, I just misplayed a fight and got straight up just demolished. Girl, I got into a big, uh, big hat hat in the not. Not a guy? Gotcha. Yeah, it was just like I misplayed an engagement. I can't even remember what it was. I think it was a melee unit that I just misplayed the engagement. It just took like three hard hits right one after the other. But yeah, so. For that to be volume three, um. We're gonna go with like 25. We can adjust it later. We'll, we'll try that. Um, okay. So the first thing I like to do is, before we get into it, and this is for the record, that I actually have, yeah, this is Hotel Renovator. And you're gonna use, so the end user agreement was like, literally just like one paragraph kind of thing. It's like, really? Yeah, it's just this here. I hereby acknowledge I read and understand the end user agreement. Oh, I mean, it's a little thing there. It's, I'm tired of this kind of thing. Like, I get it. You need to have an end user agreement, terms of service, whatever. But like, I understand with an online game scene, like, hey, don't cheat, don't do this. If you say things that are hateful, we will ban you. We reserve the right to ban you for any reason. Fair enough, I get it. When you're dealing with multiplayer and international and all that stuff, yeah, it gets complicated. But it's a freaking game that's running on my local computer that's single player. You know what your end user agreement should be? Everything in this game is licensed to us. Don't do anything illegal with the game. And that should be like the entire agreement. You may or may not use this game for that. Yeah, like basically don't copy it. Don't do anything illegal. You know, like don't use this game to accomplish something illegal. Um, and like that. Like it should be, it should be like just three sentences. It should fit in this window and not require a separate link just to get there. I'm pretty sure you're expecting someone to agree after he's been we don't enforceable. It is Sarah, Pe Sarah the Penguin. That's uh, that's already been an established thing. That for any end user or terms of service thing to be administered, at least here in the U.S., I should specify, for it to be admissible, it has to be before the point I have agreed to spend money. Um, that's already gotten settled in courts more than once. Because it makes sense. Because I like I buy something, I think I'm doing the informed thing, and then I hand you a bunch of money, and then they turn and goes, by the way, that thing you just spent three thousand dollars on, well, uh, here's all the rules you didn't know about. It'd be like buying a house in an HOA and them not being rec like that's one of the rules. When you buy a house in an HOA area, they are legally required to provide you the documentation, the person selling you the house before the transaction completes. Otherwise, you can, I don't know what the time span is, you can just say, you know what? Never mind, I need my money back, I don't want the house anymore. Um, but we always pirate our games before we buy them. I don't. Okay, bring up the UI scale. Um, so that's good. We have a bunch of languages represent. Show hover, yes. Highlight interactables, yes. Transparent hands. Huh. I wonder why that would be a thing. Like, there's clearly a reason for that. I don't know if it's like a, um, maybe it's a motion sickness thing. Like, maybe the hands do this whole thing and that messes with people. Or maybe they're just a nuisance. That's a curious one. I don't, I don't know why that's there. I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, it could also just be the hands getting the way. Like, you have, like, the big drill and it covers half your screen or something. But no jazz hands options. Yeah, so I got UI scale. So good stuff there. Well, that's... That's not good. Hopefully that's just not there. Um, the volume didn't have anything interesting. Display. So I want to lock the FPS, and that's just because I stream. Yes, it's easier to read. The way the way it flickers. Brightness, V-Sync, cool. And the reason I set the frame rate, I mention this almost every time, is um, when you do stream, 
you don't want to just let it go unlimited because it usually will have the uh, the GPU will just get gobbled up by the game trying to render, you know, 200 frames per second. And then your stream quality sucks. So I lock it at 60 in most games. On the already, I'm happy the text above being easy to read. I know. I wonder if we go back if it'll still have a problem. No. So it's literally just when you switch it. Yeah, so it's just a bug. That's fine. Um, invert your act. <laughs> I never get the invert the X axes. Like, Y axes, like, okay, I get it. I don't like it, but I get it. But the X axis, like, but why? I mean, maybe if you had your mouse upside down for some reason? Cool. Um, so we did have some decent um, accessibility stuff. Nothing for, like, dyslexia or color deficiency, but we don't know. Okay, select your assistant. So, okay, so all my assistants must be female. That's an interesting choice. There's nothing wrong with that, but, like, I guess female and identifying as male robot. Um, hi, I'm Sander. I'm here to help. Let's get this show on the road. Hello. My name is Max. Thanks for the opportunity. Uh, let's get this hotel to five star. It's five stars back. Hi, I'm Yuko. Can't wait to start renovating this hotel with you. BB101 reporting for reception duty. There's no time to waste. Let's renovate. Yeah, that's weird. I would have liked them to have at least a, like, keep, I, I don't mind having, like, mostly women. It's just weird that you have, like, three women and a robot. I would have liked to have one male character. But that's fine. Um. X-axis is probably for controllers? Maybe, but I still don't see where I would, I would hold left. Are you sure Max is... No, you know what? I think you're right. I think that is male. My bad. I assumed. That's on me. Yeah, it's on me. I saw the portrait here and you can't see the facial hair, but then when you look in, there's um there's facial hair here. That's on me. The hands are masculine. I know people mention that. So it's um it's a thing with your fingers and your lengths and all that. That um are the big tell between masculine and feminine hands. I think it was the pinky and the pointer. But, um, it's never one I particularly noticed. Well, I think I'm going to go with Yumiko, just because. I don't actually have a strong opinion about any of these. But, I mean... Oh, you're loud. Why are you so loud? One second, hang on. Cinematic. Games. Your cinematic needs to respect the volume settings. Cinematic needs to respect your volume settings. Please! You all get this wrong, like all of you. <laughs> oh, the uh, the frame rate on that cinematic is chonky. We hate your ears. I know, right? I've got that cut down to only like 60% volume for me. For you. For me, it is still blasting. Because the worst thing is I can't change it. There's a couple games that were actually pretty good. Oh no, it was choppy on my computer as well. Like, that was that was choppy locally. Oh, is there motion blur? Or is that just bad performance? Like that is bad performance. Okay, we gotta just. Let's show her who's boss here. Catch her. Okay. Before we do that, let's fix our volume again. Um, and we have bad frame rate. So graphics. Let's, uh, oh no, go away. All right. Um, so let's take this down from epic to just high. Motion blur off. Okay, that's way better. I didn't think you'd be able to do it, to be honest. Now we have to get rid of her. Throw her out the window in the hallway. She'll like the big city. Um, what? The hotel is in disrepair. We need to put a lot of work into it. And yet, we already have guests waiting to stay here. So let's get the first room ready. Um, I have guests that are on the way here. 
this place needs to be condemned in its current state. I have... This is clearly like a structural beam laying here. There is no way this elevator is in working shape. Like, this is... This is not a place that people can come and stay at. We would have our inspection and we would be shut down on the spot. Some money on this old painting. This. Oh man, if we had an inspection, like the level of failure that would happen here. What what painting? Sell the painting. You told me to go in here. Do you mean this? Okay. Use the crowbar to dispose of the junk clutter in this place. And don't hold yourself back. Uh, hold the right mouse button to select the tool remote. Bed bugs are a positive. I'm assuming it's fine that I smash the walls too. <laughs> Sorry. One moment. Just breaking everything. You love the godly powers of this crowbar? Yeah. So the walls don't count as part of the rubbish. What am I still missing? Because I can't destroy those. Oh, you also made a completely level the walls. Heavy swing, light swing. Oh my goodness. So multi hit is confirmed. Path check. Okay, we cannot share the window. Alright, let's turn up the music, because I'm hearing music, but just barely. For the record, you do not use a crowbar for all this in real life. In case anyone is wondering, there is... That's a weird gap. There's a wide range of tools you use for this.
I do appreciate that this game is not um being tedious about where I have to like remove it one block at a time. Then I could basically clear almost an entire wall. Uh, that's where curtains? Looks like really nice curtains are in. Gotcha. I mean, it is a hotel. They usually have really good um blackout curtains. So I apparently have a hundred and thirty hundred thousand and or a hundred thousand and thirty five bucks. That's a hammer and a crowbar if you want to carefully remove or replicate the old thing. It it depends. There's a lot of stuff. That counts this part. I apparently didn't need to actually clear the ceiling, it's not counting. Wait, I already removed you. This is such a nice place. I want to stay here every year. There's lots of rubble on the floor after all that mayhem you caused. You've got some cleaning up to do. It's like, okay, even though I missed a huge chunk of wall. Look, I'm not done yet. No, 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 it's not a dump, it's rustic. There's a difference. That difference is marketing. Cool. So now it's going to have us use a new tool. I like the vibration on the broom. Because it's like, I'm going to broom with such intensity the world has never seen. Perfect. Now it's time for a new floor and walls. Choose something modern and tasteful. No. Okay. Um, oh, there we go. Uh, choose a tool and select the style and cover. Select the covered style. You can switch between the color and between the color and color palette by pressing tab. Hold the life mouse button to do that. Cool. <clears throat> All right. So floors, we can start there. We can do carpet. We can do other. We can do ceramic tile. <clears throat> Grass. The ceramic tile. One moment. Sorry, I've just got a tickle in my throat that's just being being a nuisance. Um, small tiles, medium tiles, large tiles. Seamless pattern. Geometric pattern. Ah, honeycomb. Anytime you're dealing with hexagons, you mean the future. Everyone knows hexagons mean future. It's just the way it is. I like how they completely ignore the electrical wiring, plumbing, and havoc. 
Especially considering the amount of demolition we did. Oh, I probably should have changed the color. It's fine. Alright, so what walls? Wallpaper, ceramics, other. So we don't have much in the way of other. Paint, we just have color schemes. Wallpaper graphics. I find almost all these upsetting. <laughs> Ceramics. One moment. Ooh, that's pretty bad, cough. Huh? Oh, we just got hit with a, uh... Not the wall, too, please. I know. That's the thing. Or, like, the digital... What what other colors can we do with this? Hmm. I can see that. <laughs> um. Yeah, I just did a hydrate. <clears throat> I should have made the floor a different color. Alright. So there we go for like an accent wall idea here. For those who don't know what an accent wall is, it's where you deliberately make, make one wall stand out. Coloring wise, is there vinyl? Um, there is other, and then there's a whole bunch of stuff I don't have access to. So I've got paint, I've got wall graphics, and I've got ceramics for the wall. And so the other wall, we want to make it a much lighter color. This is probably gonna look terrible and I'm probably gonna regret it, but you know, this is what we're doing. That'd be a milder one of it. I don't know how this is going to look, but we're going to go with it. It'll probably look terrible until I put furniture in here. But this is why I'm not a home decorator. Yeah, I should have definitely made the, um, here. We're going to change the floor to be this color, not the wall. Oh. Never mind, it's going to cost me a bunch of money to do that. It's fine. Um, alright. So, floors are here. We'll check out the carpets. Even though I'm personally not that big of a fan of a carpet, I'd rather have, like, hardwood. Do they have hardwood? They should have hardwood, right? They have grass. Not yet, but it could be we have to unlock them first. I don't like these carpets. Wait, what? What are you? Okay, that was interesting. 
I put it in there and then I cancel it because I don't like it. But it's um, it was a carpet that was making like a map. I don't like these carpets. There's gotta be, gotta be something better. Like, like having a um a bedroom or whatever tile would kind of suck. Find a red carpet? Oh, there's probably red carpet. You hit tab to choose the colors. Yeah, so you got some reds in there. I just went past a bunch. It's this is the design, and then that we choose the color separately. I I really don't like these carpets. Like in other carpets you see places, but I personally am not team these carpets. That one wasn't too bad. I can go for like the royal purple. I do wish I could kind of... Oh, change how I draw? Oh, no, that doesn't do it. That's basically like, I wish I could change the way you draw on the floor so I could like, box it in. It's fine. This means I have to run around and do this. Not the biggest fan. Gonna be honest. Not the biggest fan of this room. So do paint. More of a purple, I guess. I don't like it. So... All of these are like putting the texture on there. I don't really want the texture. Okay, well I guess we're doing that because I didn't mean to do it, but... The fact that it made the one wall in the bathroom almost like a teal definitely feel like it doesn't match. Like I feel like it should have made the either this more of a teal out here, or I should have made the bathroom more of a pink purple. I'm sure you get strongly worded feedback from your imaginary hotel guests. It is your first room. You're, you're being hard. Oh, no, it's fine. Like, I'm not upset about it. I was like, hmm, this is definitely not, not a great layout. Or so far as, like, the color choices and all that. 
What I am curious about is I definitely peeled everything off the ceiling, and I didn't see an option to fix that. Now for the most pleasant part, furnishing. Let's start with beds. Guests need to have something to sleep on after all. And it's the reason I was going for a really light pink. We'll also need chairs and a nice little table, so the whole room's appealing to look at. Yeah, that's the reason I was going for a very light pink. Um, is so it'd be kind of an off-white. Okay, so we can rotate with Q and E. Um, hold to rotate it smoothly if we want it to be incremental. Highlight already place first, and you can use space to switch between the material and color. Gotcha. Yeah, that's what I think we want to do. But I do want to do something else for the ceiling. Oh, so I can't put that in the ceiling. That's interesting. Those are almost all in the green. I think it was something not quite as bright. Okay, don't want to be the same color as this, that. <clears throat> Okay, it's similar to the floor. It's probably a mistake. And I know I could have just made it white, which is usually what a lot of people, at least here, do with ceilings. They always make them white, but what fun is it to do interior design if you're just going to make all of your walls eggshell and all your ceilings eggshell? Go semi-gloss uh, semi with almost all of it. You know, do something with a little bit more pizzazz. Not terrible. Okay. So furniture. Oh, we need a bed. So I don't have a whole lot of options. The things that are going to be this one. This one. Let me go with this one. Hmm. Gotcha, that makes sense, Frank. So it's saying white ceiling is usually so light, roll we'll reflect off of it. 
Oh, especially good for sealing direct lamps. Yeah, here we have um the popcorn sealing though, which kind of messes with all that. It isn't normally where you'd see that in a room. You'd probably see it along this wall. I'm gonna mess with this and try and make it feel like it's a, two different spaces in the room. Um, so I need. Oh. I didn't realize that I was required to do the side tables. I wasn't going to have room for side tables with it crammed back in there. I mean, part of it this is a small hotel room. So you have, um, the floor in this room is very, like, very patterned. Like, geographical patterns. So you can see that one. See this one. Then go with this one. Okay, so we've got that. So now I need to do the end tables. Oh, so that's a dark wood. Okay. I'm assuming we'll get dark woods when we look at this. Alright, we don't have access to those. So I want something that goes with that bed. Not a whole eyes are doing this for me. Probably our best bet. And place one of those there. There one there. Go for the um Andrano one, and we're gonna look for a closer to matching the um not quite there that's pretty close I think that's the best we're gonna get um what's the name of that color I don't know it's fine we'll figure it out Those definitely don't match. So it's the one right before it turns almost gray. Okay. Your spacing is not quite right. There, so I got that. Um, I need, I'm assuming that's a coffee table? Oh, just a table in general. Okay, that one fits the aesthetic. Uh, so I'll put you here, I think. Do I want to put you there? Can I can I fit you at the window? No. You can also shove this against the wall. Right now, I'll shove it against the wall. Interesting that the legs are getting a different color. Hmm. Well, that's a problem. So legs... Alright, we'll just... That's that's a no-go. 
The problem was that I couldn't make the legs match the rest of the furniture in the whole place. They were light legs and only light legs. I may just have to deal with that. Because that's the one that closest fits the, um, the bed and all that. Guess it just is what it is. Okay. Sorry about that. I just got a tickle in my throat and I just can't get rid of it. Okay, so first of all... Choose something that's got the grain showing. I think that's about as close we're gonna get. It's fine. Um, so I need two chairs. Yeah, I can go with that. Now that's gonna change the color of the cushion. Well, the pattern of the cushion. All right. I think that's about the best we're going to get. And same deal. The good news is it does remember we did... Uh, Darsha saying, Raw you strike at 66.2 ounce of coke. That's not necessarily a good thing, man. That's a lot of soda. Alright. Well, that's a pretty impressive couch. So you could definitely, like, shove this in the corner. Yeah, I think I will. Because that would give you a good couch if you want to sit by the window and and look around. Um, is that the same pattern, or was this the pattern? Pretty sure it's this one. No, it actually looks different. Well, it is what it is. Okay. So I'm not in love with any of my color options for this one. <clears throat> they don't really go with the rest of the room. Let's see what the other pattern has. Hmm. Knives are feeling like great matches. I think that might be what we go with over there. Fine. It's fine. It's not fine. I need it more purple. Jason's like not fine. Like I'm I'm not finding anything that matches the rest of the room where it's got a bit of purple. Like that. I can make it the black in that, but I can't. There just isn't one that wants to match one. It's more it's more of a bright pink. I need more of a purple. I think that's maybe the least bad. I think we go with that. I'm not I'm not happy with it, but of my options, it feels like the least bad. Like it really doesn't go with the carpet at all. The walls are fine. It's it's cool. It's fine. I mean, our walls are all barren and all that. It's fine. We'll just we don't look directly at it, chat. If we don't look directly at it, we can pretend it doesn't exist and it can't hurt us. That's how that works. Yep. 
put you right there. Same deal. Get that one. I apparently need like a little sofa. I'd be happy with um with a red as opposed to all of this. I mean it's perfectly fine. We don't we don't know what the person visiting is going to want or anything like that. I can certainly do rooms that are red as well. That is now I was expecting a chair, that's fine. None of these chairs look like they go with that couch. And I find it deeply upsetting. I'm gonna try and make that work. All right, now to have another couch that doesn't really feel like it fits the uh, the aesthetic. It's fine. You just pretend it doesn't look that. What about TV in the full view of the bed? Uh, it's not a requirement for me to have the room. This is one of those HGTV gone wrong shows, isn't it? Really gonna go for the whole doctor's waiting room thing? It. It does give that vibe. If it wasn't for the bed with the nightstands here, it would absolutely, like, this, if, this angle, right here, if I hold this angle, it's a doctor's waiting room. The moment I turn around, it's a bedroom with the most barren walls that have ever barren walled ever in a barren wall. Is the ceiling purple? Only if you look directly at it, or slightly scant of it, or if the you know ceiling is slightly in view. My walls. <laughs> Or barren wasteland. Here's paint that I could find no purchase. Yeah. All right, we have shelves that we need to put in. What? What kind of? Sh oh, are you supposed to be like a glass cabinet? Oh, it's locked. That's why I was supposed to say like, what are you supposed to be? Glass cabinet? Ah, uh, yes. Industrial shelves. None of these at all scream this aesthetic. All of these shelves are a bad choice for this aesthetic. There is nothing here that goes, ah. Like, everything here is very square and blocky. Um, And all of these are way fancier than that. I think this is the m least not right. Lovely. Now for the bathroom. And then we're good to go. Yeah, we're good to go. We can just pretend. Can I can I please lock this to a grid? What you're saying is a couple of coders who made this game but not interior dizers. Right. Caddy corner, the shelves perhaps? Um so I could put the shelves on either side of this. I could put them on this wall. I definitely put them over here. Are you mean catty corner like this? I don't know. Now I'm feeling that myself. Can't 
I wish there was a grid here you could lock those easily. So you could be like, put those next to each other. Alright, well, we'll deal with that in a minute. So we have the bathroom here. Oh. Um, wait, no, I don't want that. Put that back. Stay. Oh, right, the ceiling. Um, yeah, the ceiling. Well, here's, here's a question. Because we have to science. Nope. So, the ceiling may only be paint. You may, you may not do anything but paint from the way the ceilings look. Oh, that's right, it's wall. Yeah, so I can't, I can't ceramic the ceiling. So I want a very light gray. not super happy about that, but I'm going to live with it. So furniture, we have a bathtub. Ah, yes. That fits the Aztec room. Like, futuristic hexagonal tile, and then literally a wooden barrel with a spigot. Excellent. Perfect match. I really don't have much options I can make work. I think the, the box is about as good as we're going to get. Hmm. That's why I just need to go here. Wait, is that... Oh, that's a chrome bottom. Okay. Are we gonna have a bidet? It didn't look like I had a choice of bidet. So I have like a super duper chrome bottom. You know, flat bomb, and then a kind of chrome bomb. I'm gonna go like super duper chrome. No, it's just the style of a toilet. That's not bidet, it's just a toilet that has like the one button there. I would be against putting a bidet in here. Yeah, those look. Corporate says these are the same picture. I think it's ever so slightly making it glossier. Yeah, it's just a tankless toilet. I probably shouldn't actually have a tankless toilet. We have a ridiculous amount of room in this bathroom to work with. Alright, so we got a choice of three sinks. I think that's about the best we're going to get here. So put the sink over here. Under the game has uh, American Disabilities Act concern. We literally can't pass inspection if we don't build to ADA spec. I actually don't know the rule. Like, I know you need to make sure you have accessibility accommodations, but I don't believe, like, every room has to. You just have to have them in general. Like, you can have, like, the, uh, the room that's good for, you know, whatever people need. So, it's kind of a bummer that, so I've got this, like, high-tech, chrome-looking bathroom, which is ironically in a place with, like, lots of wood stuff, but there literally is nothing but wood cabinets so you have like 
you know, what should be like an aluminum and glass kind of thing. And then you turn around and you have like rustic, which rust, there's nothing wrong with rustic. It's just the going between them. Um, all right, so let's turn this around. This could be like the towel, whatever cabinet thing. Um, it'll totally get completely destroyed in real life because people slam the door into it again and again and destroy it. But you know, hey, then we can charge the people extra for damaging the furniture. And we'll just pretend we pay like a completely obnoxious price for it. I don't know what color to make you. I'm gonna go with that gray. It looks terrible. Of course you stick out. I want I want you to... No, actually, do you stick out? No, you don't. Okay, that's fine. As long as you don't stick out, I want you to be underneath the sink. Does that stick out? No, it actually... It's okay, it's fine. If it's stuck out, it's going to be upset about it. Um, what is this? Bathroom wall accessories. And you need at least two of them. They have a whole bunch of choices. There's the toilet paper. There's the towels. Bathroom accessories. Ooh yay. A hotel room where they've already got a uh, they got um toilet paper and all that for you. Or not toilet paper, toothpaste and all that for you. Yeah, so put a we'll put a a thing of towels on the shelf here. The trash can in the corner. Some final touch. Add some cool lights, paintings, and standing decorations. Okay. All right, so we need a bunch of decorations. So that isn't a requirement. Oh, actually, wait. Is that a separate tool? Where do I find the decorations? And I'm putting curtains on because I can't stand the lack of curtains. Yeah, the toothbrush is like, no. Now I just feel like they fit the window. They don't have like what looks like a really bunched up curtain. It's about the best I'm going to get and I don't like it. I think for some that's not quite as grainy looking. And if these people seen what this place looked like before, I'd give that toothbrush hard pass. 
Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so I think those darker ones work pretty okay. So go to where it's mostly cool. That's not bad. I don't like those. I'd rather have like the big, like big fabric curtains. But yeah. All right. So they're not catching. That's a terrace. That's a pet. Oh, anyway, where do I find the decorations? That's the thing that I'm finding. There we go. All right. So I have to do standing decorations. We have an alarm clock, we have an antique clock, a wooden plate, a decorative bowl, incense, a book on fashion, an open magazine, a bunch of random books. So if you put up a bookshelf, you at least put stuff in it. That's at least something. Lots of books. This place no longer looks like the set of Hostel, yeah. Oh yeah, we're absolutely not doing candles. I will not trust guests with fire. Oh good, we can put an Ergo Man. Get Buddha, get a couple of faces. That's not what I was expecting. More tiki thing, some strange art. There's so much stuff we can put in these rooms. Bunch of cups we can put in the shelves, silverware. Okay, and that's the end of what we got. Alright, so... Not sure what we're even putting in here. Definitely not the ridiculous bust or whatever. Not the fire. No guest should be trusted with fire. Ah, yes, so you can really wake up. Literally have the alarm clock jammed above your head on the, uh, on the rest. Just ignore the fact that it's hovering a little bit. It's fine. All right. If I had a bookshelf, the books would be... Oh, actually... Of course, there are ever so slightly too many books. There. We got some books about interior design. And some books on travel. Need one more standalone thing. And we will put Ergo Man on the edge of the table. Just because we can. Can I can I change your pose? What what happens if I actually choose to change you? Okay, you can't change them. That's fine. Alright. So, wall decorations. What was that? Chicken of Destruction? Excellent. That... The sad thing is that does kind of fit the decor of the room. Ah.
A lot of the wood stuff would fit the decor if I can... <laughs> ah, yes. Go to sleep with a neon light directly above your bed. Perfect. We're definitely... Oh, God. You think I saw this room in... 1408? Okay, so I think we are going to put the, uh, the pink one on here. Well... So this painting works really well. We'll put this painting above the couch. And we'll put the unfortunate Chihuahua up here. And we'll just pretend not to look at it directly. Okay, so I can't change anything about the paintings. That's just the way they are. And hey, Arch Play Stuff, how's it going? Um, can I get a shout out for Arch Play Stuff? I know you just got here, I'll go, so. The game as well as once, it's a little weird about alt having. So your last comment? Um... They ought to bolt it down, that'd be evil. Yeah. Go to and check out Arch Play stuff. Absolutely fantastic streamer. He does wonderful content. Really worth checking out. 100% recommend. Yeah, we put, the, we put the alarm clock literally between the pillows. You know, just making sure people wake up in the morning. That way they need to get the heck out. You only paid... Oh, sorry. That was bigger than I thought I was expecting. Let's see. So I'm obligated to put a plant in the room of some kind. I'm not really loving any of these plants, to be honest. Like, they're not... Oh, yeah. Like, they're not bad. Like, you're just you're just a stick in a jar. It really does you know that one's not bad. It's got a little, like a little pink going on to it. Um we'll put that Put that here. It's actually not a good place for it, because then they can't use that side table, but that's just the life we live. Um and I'm suddenly realizing the next thing I'm gonna do is put in lamps. What was that? That's such a weird lamp. Right there. I know I should put... The lamp here on the table. I am aware that is where the lamp should go. Right, and I cannot change almost any of the design of these. Um, makes it a little rough. I usually don't recommend having plants in hotel rooms. Guests who smoke are going to put cigarette butts in there. Yep. The whole we can't have anything nice because people. I had fit both these things on here. Let's move the plant up. I need to have at least two wall lights. Oh, it's just dome. Oh, hey. The metal can with some leather strap. All right. Yeah, so I'm assuming we unlocked more because there's very limited options for some of these things.
Make sure you can see the paintings. We don't care about the actual lighting in the room. Um, alright, ceiling lights. Hmm. Again, not really feeling any of these lights. Like, the chandeliers are all a bit much. And then the lights like that feel like there's just nothing going on with them. Excellent! If your design is ready, you can make the room available for the guests. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to go and step in here real fast. I do feel like the bathroom needs at least a light. And I saw, also, I believe there's a mirror. Technology. And I didn't really make a good spot for that, did I? Ah, yes. This, this doesn't give a bad feeling right here. What? What would be... Okay, you're making a hotel room. Why would you have a tripod camera? How does that not get weird? Because either A, you're pointing out the window, at which point you seem real sketch. Or... You've got something that looks like this. Um, and I don't need to fill in why that doesn't feel okay. You can probably you can probably guess why this or this doesn't feel okay. No matter how you go about it, the camera in the hotel room feels uncomfortable. You can put in the bathroom. Honestly, in this case, the bathroom might not be like the like might actually be one of the least offensive ones. I wouldn't do it. Oh, you can put like a bunch of Valentine's Day stuff. All right, that's, that's cool. Stickers. Oh, that's that's actually cool. I wouldn't use it in this room. Well, heck, those stickers are better than some of the wallpapers. <laughs> Just. Everything having like animals and it's pink and it's lovely and just a giant octopus. <laughs> nah, the octopus looks terrible on the tile. Oh, you can't put on the ceiling? There's no sex in the champagne room. I know, right? It's not allowed. Uh huh. That is. That is. That is a fun sticker placement. <laughs> oh, that's almost as upsetting, actually. I think we are doing the trap. <laughs> Like, the room is fine without the draft. You got some cute doggos, there's light. You know, it's just kind of a pink room. The the chihuahua's a little weird. But, like, you know, the Ergo Man, that's fine. It's kind of an artsy thing. Like, just some books and stuff. Like, this this feels like a vibrant room color scheme-wise. <laughs> um, The bathroom, like, it's looking like it's trying to be minimalistic, but also, like, like the tech kind of thing. Oh, here's here's another one. The bed the bed works better. The bed works way better. <laughs> You're not taking a <laughs> But how how so it's 
It's got to be just barely creeping. Off center, barely creeping. It's happening. Because that's just... You know, like, you walk in here, it's like, okay, it's it's kind of this pink one. Alright, so they're going for darker woods. Okay, I've got, like, this weird sort of rustic, sort of not minimalistic thing. But then you got this minimalistic, you know, modern design. It's all cool. Oh. The room, the room looks okay until you get to like, let's see, let's see, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's a little weird, it's a little, oh wait, hang on, alright, we've lost it. And renovated. Oh, I love it, chose that angle. Perfect. Excellent. This room is the best. Um, no, it's not going to put a marker there. That's fine. I got to fix that button. So I would definitely say this is an improvement. I mean, would you rather sleep in this room? Wait, what? Who just walked through me? Book the room. I love how I didn't even choose book the room. The... You know, actually, that does check. I was going to say, it's like, that does not fit this room. It's like, no, I've... I've been to bike week. Man, you're ripped. Like. Like, I'm gonna be honest, man. First guests have just checked in, and they look satisfied. It's all thanks to you. Check out the booking app. Like, that dude's level of ripped. Oh, wait, no, you got some serious dysmorphia going on. Wait, what are those back? Hey, no, stop moving. The back of the arm muscle there. Um... That's fine. That muscle right there, that is not natural. Where is your elbow? Oh, I guess there it is. <laughs> now I've been to Bike Week. There are um there are some very flamboyant people at Bike Week. So I can totally 100% see someone. Okay, so in the future, like just pretend they're already sat in chairs cuz they don't move them. Um, let me out, let me out, I, 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 I don't want to be in here with him. Look, man, it's cool that you're into this. I don't, I don't, let me out. This isn't, this isn't what I wanted. Here, I fix. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Is there is there an unstuck option? Look, man, I don't want to be in here while he sleeps in here. That's actually uh, like that makes this way worse. Because not only you have like the giraffe, but then you have like the actual like hotel owner. Oh, jeez. Ma'am. Ma'am. Why? I want out. It's less awkward this way. So I think, is there a save button? Let's uh, let's reload real fast. Don't play that music. Don't play that music in this situation. Don't lock me in the room with other people and then start with a bounce, wow, wow, or bounce. Like, no, stop. Uh, is my understanding of what this game not correct? Um, I know I made the joke about the camera, but like, um, you know. <laughs> oh, good. Our first guests have just checked in and they look satisfied. It's all thanks to you. How do I get out? I want out of the room. Let me out. St uh, stop. <laughs> um, is there any options like an unstuck option or a teleport back to front desk option? Because we may be stuck in this purgatory forever. Key bindings. 
Uh, let's see. Hide the HUD. Edit stuff. Change your tool. No, do do not change that. I want to scroll through that. So I can't actually look farther down. It's checking me. Ask you to check the booking app. There's a booking app. Oh right, I have a tablet. I totally forgot that's a thing in this game. That isn't actually okay. That's UI scaling being broken. Um, every room has a cleanliness level. Got it. Guest satisfaction depends on the cleanliness nut level. Um, gr another green, yeah. So green, good, red, bad. That's unfortunately not good for color deficiency, but we're stuck there. And they were both circles, which means you have no way of telling the difference. So that's a problem. Here's the sum of your current um, income expenditure. So I am losing fifty dollars a day. No, I'm not. I'm gaining 150 bucks a day. Um, this window shows the information you need about your hotel state. Remember to keep your guests satisfied. I have one guest who has a satisfaction average of 10. I assume that's good because it has a smiley face. Um, press the power off button to close the tablet. You can fast forward time by pressing add. Oh, good. They let us out. Hey, I found a letter addressed to us. Looks like Grandpa left it. Come and check it out. Oh, there's no jump. Does this actually work? Ooh, I definitely trust the elevator it has two burnt out buttons that don't... That are missing everything. So imagine you've walked in, this is what you're introduced to. Boxes, dilapidated furniture, my frame rate is dying, why is my frame rate so terrible? Um, did it reset my graphics when I exited? No, apparently it's decided that was custom, it's fine. I think there's too much junk on the ground. That's awfully mean to say about your sister. I understand him overlapping the cardboard box. That is that is awfully mean. What is disposing of your sister? Nah, it's she's not my sister. She's my assistant. But why is she mentioned? All right, collisions. I think. Um, read Grandpa's letter. Where's where's? Oh, there it is. Dear kids, welcome to my motel. Hope you'll have fun returning it to its former glory. I neglected it horrifically. You'll be surprised that you might find at the end of the road. Enjoy the journey, Roy Bennett. I was right. This letter is really from our grandpa. I really hope we can make him proud. Oh, I guess it is my sister or cousin or someone of familiar relation. Those eyes. Nope. You should wear sunglasses. Body level unlocked. New furniture unlocked. Oh my god, that is so much extra furniture. Wait, hang on. Oh no, never mind. That's the furniture we already had access to. You just got creeper. I didn't think that was possible. Here we go. Let's pick a name for this place and start working. No, don't make me name it. Um. Oh, that okay. Getting jump scared by naming stuff. Um. All right. So, considering that our hotel is feeling very uncanny valley at the moment. Um, I feel like we go for what sounds like a positive, but definitely one of those names that you read and you go, "I don't, I don't know if I want to go there." So, I feel like that's a thing. I only have a couple logo designs, which is a little bit of a bummer. Let me do the palm tree. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm sure Hotel California is always a classic, but that feels too easy. That feels, 
That feels like that's one like half the people are going to name. They're watching. Which is not at all what I'm saying. Hotel California, Florida. Uh, I have a feeling a whole bunch of people would make a stink over that. It's a good name, though. I have a feeling I'd start, start getting people out in the politics, and then I'd have to start slapping people. Um. <laughs> oh, can I just... The Continental? In the Sky? Oh, hello. Oh, what was it? Not that. It's not that. Where are you at? Eh, it doesn't work that. La dump. <laughs> um... Oh, just need to do, like, the, uh, what is it? That doesn't line up right with the font. It's gonna be, like, the winky face. Oh, hi there. Oh, hi there. With the winky face. The winky face makes it so much worse. Oh, can I? This doesn't have copy paste, does it? I have to check. I'm assuming, Chris, that's not gonna work. Or sure, gonna try and find out. You know what? That's not what I was expecting that to be. Um, that is not what I was expecting the results to be on that one. Gotta be honest. How does it get that with cop? So I copy what uh what Craze had the whole thing with the table and everything, and that's what it came up with. So it did get the parentheses and it did get the square. So it's the special characters on the like the arms and all that that I couldn't do. That sounds like what I'd do. Yeah, it dropped all the extras. Oh, hi there. Oh, that's a really short character limit. I think those special characters... Oh, it still has the character there. Like, I had to delete twice. Okay, so it still has the characters there. They're just not showing. Interesting. I'm, I'm feeling the... Oh, hi there kind of thing. Hi, Spy. I think I'm just going to go with oh, hi there. Why are you not updating this? Yep, that's a terrible name for a hotel. Event. Good evening. My name is Vlad Ramiscu. I'm staying the night... And I have a few modest requirements. I like silence. If I'm disturbed, well, let's say I can get rather hot-blooded. Light irregularities, my sensitive eyes. I'll also need some dark curtains. Please remove any mirrors. He's a vampire. Oh, that's interesting. Well, that's kind of cool. Um, so does it need I need to make a new room for this person? What what is the rest of my downstairs? So, all right, hang on. Let's just evaluate our hotel layout for just a moment. Wait. Hang on. How how did I speed up time? I want it to not be sped up. 
What is the button for speed up and slow down time? Because I noticed it was double time. I don't want it to be going fast. I also dislike that I can't actually scroll down. There's more controls down here, but I can't get to them. So I have just these controls that are being the only ones marked. Oh! I just realized what time it is. I'm sorry. Uh, give me just a moment. I'm going to go ahead and put up on uh, words on stream for just a minute. Uh, because what's going to end up happening is Tomb just got home. I think she's downstairs already making dinner. I got so absorbed in all that that I completely lost track of time. Uh, so bear with me for one moment. Uh, so the tablet has it? Yeah, probably plus and minus. Because I did hit those buttons trying to do other things. So give me just a moment. I'm going to go ahead and get some words on stream going. So that way I can welcome Tomb home. Um, help with meal if she's not already done with it because like I lost track of time entirely getting absorbed and all that which is a good thing to happen because that's a good sign for the game so I'm gonna go ahead and put up words on stream for just a couple minutes gonna run down welcome my wife home help out with dinner for a minute get all that stuff going in the meantime thank you so much for everyone who's um been lurking with Chang and been following subscribing to the bits list donuts and the raids it all helps and I really do appreciate it and I will be back in just a couple minutes uh, for those who do in like don't know how to play this, basically you just type in the chat, you hit enter, whatever words you're gonna guess. So if I were to say I'm not sure this is how it's spelled, keen, that you get the idea. Um, once you have correctly guessed a word, you cannot correctly guess another word until that teal bar in the middle uh, moves and hits a lock. All right, send so me back in just a minute. Thank you.
I saw that you're absolutely killing it. Let's try and get involved as well. See, we can't break this record because this is a tie for a record. Ooh, five words. Um, okay, one of those letters is the fake. Okay, so the correct word I got there was chore. I think the U is fake. It's either the U or the S is fake. Nice, Grace. Brochure. So it's the S is fake. The S is the fake letter. Just so people know. Um, and then the hidden letter is B. Um, I'm struggling. All right, that's my last guess I can do. We only need six more points. Just need six more points. It's like one more word. They're all, they're all going to be five letters or longer. One more word, come on, someone sneak one in there. Please, we're so close. Ah, uh, well, we tied our record. But yeah, still, that was amazing. That was fantastic. Sorry it took me so long to get back up there. Um, back up here. When Toom came home, she was like, hey, like, I'm hurting a little bit, so I was just making sure she was all right. Um, yeah, so yeah, first place we have Kraisk at 171 points, Burnin' Sun at 165, Elgoso at 144. Uh, Vrennis at 126, Captain Brody at 91, Zidane at 77, Sacred Panda at 66, Hog Jumper at 36, myself at 32, Freckled Husky at 31, Dark Strider at 16, and Andy Max at 10. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way and get back to our game. When you back on the game, bro? Uh, right now. Basically what happens is because I do stream for 11 hours at some point I gotta eat and so when I do have to eat Like I, I haven't eaten yet, but I have to like make my food real fast So I welcome my wife home and all that uh, so I put words on stream and I let it go till we get a game over um, That usually happens once per stream. Okay, so we needed to figure out How we get time to not be fast-forwarding Because I somehow made time fast-forward and I do not know how to stop it Um, because I'm at 2x time, I need to figure out how to stop this. It was nope, nope, okay, it was plus and minus. We got it, cool. Um, so we have lost the better part of a day because it's fast forwarding. And thank you, Paul. Welcome to the stream. We're going to room 103. Because apparently we're making a vampire room. Because he's all like, I don't want any mirrors. Uh, which room's 103? There we go. Um, I put it up for a vote. Subnautica was on the list of possibilities. Is now what ended up happening. It's still possible that Subnautica happens tonight, for the record. Can Zerka play this uh, from the Sidemen? Um, to see if you were playing it. We found you? Gotcha.
Did you ever find the corpse in the wall asking for a friend? Um, uh, we haven't found it in this one. But it's sure a nightmare, though. There we go. I don't know how I would feel about, like, very genuinely, you know, you're staying at a hotel. If you knew that, I mean, we, we haven't cleaned up the, uh, the middle area yet at all. What's this room look, gonna look like? Uh, I don't know yet. Wow, you found a golden egg. You better keep it. Uh, okay. Thank you for a thousand bucks. Alright, what am I missing stuff-wise? Right, radiators I overlooked? All right, that's someone's heroin stash. I mean, judging by the look of the hotel, you're probably right. Um, as far as what I'm gonna make this place look like, so the client for this room is effectively a vampire. They're like no mirrors. Um, I need to have like, like really no sunlight kind of thing. So, and his name was Vlad. Yep. Vlad is totally not a stamp vampire. Does anyone remember the game Magicka? All I can think of with, you know, Totally Not Vampire is the guy going, You need to do this! Blee! Like, it did, it did like, the Simlin and all that. That was a reference? Gotcha. That was, um... It was, like... Most of his, like, talk was, like, Blee! That, like, the, the Simlin other than the Blee sound. Magicka was amazing. Put in the most cheery, upbeat design style. I don't want to get locked in a room with the biker again. The first thing I talked about was like, Vlad, totally not a vampire. Yeah, it's such a shame, because there was Magicka, I think there was Magicka too, and then they did like... They said no sunlight, no um, no mirrors. But, um, I think those are the only requirements. I'm, I'm hoping this does, like, Power Wash Simulator, where there's, like, a whole ridiculous story going on. Like, you're just like, it's a hotel simulation, and they're all like, also, there's a cult. Or also, like, there's the vampire whatever society um, who have decided that your place is like the place to go. Did I mention I really appreciate the fact that I can knock out, like, half a wall in a single swing? Because I really do appreciate that. Because it's super annoying with these kind of things, they have to, like, go block by block by block. Which it's sad, because they do a really good job with it there, and then you turn around and you go to, like, paint, you know, paint or tile, and you have to do it tile by tile. I'm like, but I just want to, just want to hold it.
Yeah, we didn't get too much into it, but apparently there's like a whole hidden hidden story going on about like the corrupt mayor and a cult and a whole bunch of other stuff going on. Like we haven't gotten into it too much. I only know most of that because I kind of was like tuning into other people are playing and that's just what is in my downtime because like Sui played through the whole thing. Um, people had mentioned to it, so I was like, wait, what? I think it was Tomb who actually mentioned that, because Tomb's actually played that game. Like, Tomb has completed uh, Power Wash Simulator um, before he even played it. But it's like, hidden, hidden story in that game. It's interesting that they don't actually make you deal with the ceiling, even though it's utterly disgusting. So, uh, congrats, you have asbestos? Probably. This definitely looks like a place you'd find asbestos. Okay, is correctly identifying the um the thing with asbestos that's actually dangerous, like the actual condition. Yeah, you gotta wait like 30, 40 years, because that's how long it takes for after you've been exposed for it to come back to get you most of the time. The real bummer is once you get that diagnosis, you're basically like, alright, get your paperwork in order. Cause uh That's it. So it has so many restrictions around it. So my grandpa passed away, but he was, when he was young, used to clean out kilns and get their shield. Yeah, no, it used to be, like, in its time, asbestos was seen as, like, the miracle material. It was, like, an excellent insulator. It had all sorts of, like, it was used in Havac. It was used in so many things. People would use it under the tile. Let's see, asbestos used to be the condition. Uh, it's just a law to put a, um... Tortorium on that claims for asbestos. So now it's um that's the you know what? yeah I used to um I used to work with a another software developer who like the big project they had worked on was there was a company whose entire job is just you know when someone gets the diagnosis like you don't you don't end up having a lot of time between the diagnosis before things start going south real fast not typically um. And so it's just basically the entire company's job is the moment you got the diagnosis. It's like, here's the paperwork you need to deal with, here's this you need to deal with, here's like what we can do to comfort them, here's what your family needs. Like basically, you know, a family who's trying to process this and they have no time to do it. Uh, that they would sit there and, you know, just try and make it as best they can to like handle all of that. It was grim stuff, but... Yeah. And I keep hearing the Stardew Valley sound when you charge up the watering tool. So, you do that? I think the diagnosis uh, to death in a year and a half, that's actually... Honestly, that's actually a pretty, pretty good length of time I've left. A lot of people, by the time they get the diagnosis, it's a couple of months is all the longer they have. That's why it's so scary. Each guest has different decoration preferences. Fulfill these requirements to get extra tips and bonuses. I mean, what what kind of ritzy hotel are we that, like, per guest we decorate it? They were like, ah, this guest is going to want to have this. So it says I still have floor covering on. 
Yeah, now usually it's those things that when you get your diagnosis, it's like literally you have three, four, five, six months maybe. So it's like really, it doesn't give families much time to process it, to, you know, deal with things, get them all in order, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to miss some tile in the corner somewhere. There we are. Still saying I have a tiny bit of floor covered. The short end of the wall on the bottom. Short end of the wall by the bottom. Oh, there we go. No, that's not it. Thank you. Okay, so all the walls are done. I missed somewhere floor-wise. Like a decent amount, too, from the looks of it. Gotcha, there's spots underneath the door. Pick this door as well. There, okay, all floors and all that are dealt with. Let's clean up a little mess, mess we made. Oh, it's full charge or nothing. If I'm not super sweeping, I'm not sweeping. Okay. So here's what we need to do. Suggestion styles optional. Add curtains, candles... Shades of black and red. Uh, to use a new skill, choose... To use your new skill, choose Q and E on the tool to press... Oh, I can just do the whole wall? Alright. Oh, wood flooring? It's a shame that that's not going to have the blacks and reds we're looking for, I don't think. It's fine. We'll make this hideous room. Pictures a clear Dragon Ball Z command man <laughs> charging broom. Yeah. Do they have a black and red one? Oh. I'm gonna increase the music volume again. Looking for black and red. And that might work. That's really red. Ooh, I'm going to hate this room.
That is so much better. Okay. He wants black and red, so black and red he'll get. Is black marble available yet? Over the bathroom? Yeah, because that seemed way more red when I was looking at it. That was close to black as I see. All right. Like the parent black? Yeah. That's like a green. Oh, that would be black and red. Well, I mean, that's almost a purple. There we go. There's black and red. Now, let me guess. I gotta break it all again. It's like, you hire the people, like, tile the floors and all that. They're all proud of it. They're like, look at our work. You know, they start putting, you know, pictures and examples saying, oh, yeah, we went and we did the tile flooring in this place. And then, um, the same day that they install it, you just go, hmm, don't like it. And then you tear it all back out. Okay. I'm not a personal fan of this, but, you know... Our buddy here wants black and red, and black and red they shall receive. That's wood covering. Then they return at Home Depot because they'll take it back. Alright, so ceramic. Things that are more plain for the wall. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's still going to need to be the color. I can't tell that's supposed to be red or orange. It's looking orange. I'm not seeing like a proper red here. So I'm down to do like an accent wall again. Oh, that's sure. Not a big fan of that one because it looks it looks dirty the way. Oh, that's just the pattern of this tile. Period. It looks like deliberately scuzzy. Yeah, like, the, the normal tile tile doesn't really have a red. Yeah, they have the slab, but it's just not quite right. Um, closer. I mean, it's a bathroom, though.
All right, actually, we can they work with this. Ooh, polished stone. What we can do with that? I wish I could make the floor out of that. I can get behind that. That's it. Doesn't really go with the floor. But I mean, we're gonna deal with like medieval looking vampire kind of thing. Oh, the frame rate. Putting up that many walls at the same time definitely kills the frame rate a whole lot. That's not terrible. The floor feels a bit weird with it, but you know, that it could be worse. Before we go tearing up the floor... I don't think I have the option. Yeah, so I can't I can't do the stone floor there, unfortunately. I don't have a stone floor. The the floor's just gonna have to live with what it is. Um, so we go to walls. So I don't think we could do the stone. Yeah, so we can't do the stone for the ceiling. So I think the stone are just gonna paint it black and call it a day. If I can find a black. Just, it genuinely doesn't seem like there's a black you can choose. Um, I guess you get to be red. Yeah, so catch is I have to have shades of black or red for this room. It's actually a requirement for the room. So even though I would choose like a neutral and do that kind of stuff, the, like you can see on the bombs, the style suggestions, it's optional, but we get more money for it. So this is our vampire room. Oh, the monochrome palette? Oh, it does! Okay. Still don't love this room, but I mean... You like the red? That's what I think. The red or the black for the ceiling. I love that. Um, ba -ba -bum, where is... There's the red. I'm kind of on the uh, on the red more as well, because the black and the black and the black is a little a little much. Okay, regardless, there we go. All right, so now I got to deal with all this out here. Is there a red of that? If there's a red of that, that'd be amazing. There doesn't... No, oh, there might be. It's more magenta. That's upsetting, but it has a certain, a certain fit for vampire. The whole watery side of it in black and red. Again, the black and the red is a requirement for us, which is the reason why we're leaning in on it so much. Is there a black and red? So red and black? Uh, that's a good question. I don't think there will be.
Definitely more stylized version. Think some dark would look better. Yeah, so it doesn't look like we're gonna find that in Great Wave. Yeah, this is gonna be black and such. Oh, actually, they had yellow and black. Maybe they will have the red and black. Okay. Sure. You know, I don't want to do the wallpaper. Wall coverings. They have a more black granite. Like you don't I don't like the brick rustic look. Like that was good for the bathroom, but I do feel like this room should be different. So we're kinda That's just gradient, okay. I guess I was expecting more from that. Maybe one black brick wall and then wallpaper. So like Like choose choose like make that wall the black brick and then wallpaper around the rest of it. Alright, I mean that's not like a terrible idea. I mean the problem one problem is with like the black and red, I don't have a lot of options to work with. Yeah, so I am finding if I click a whole bunch, I said a whole bunch thing because it's doing the animations for all of them at the same time. It straight up murders the performance. <laughs> this is a very upsetting hotel room. You know, we're just going with it. Because there's not doors between here. I'm not a huge fan of the way the separation would be. It's fine. The yellow wallpaper story, but the wallpaper is red and black. Hmm, that's so upsetting a design. Alright, so we're thinking wall covering. Doing the stone tiles here. Where you can get a coffin. I mean, if I can, we're going to. I don't think we'll be able to. Alright, so I still need the ceiling. I'm not sure all of these are counting as black and red, which is a bit of a problem. Did I actually double click? Cause I like froze for a second. Yeah, I'm thinking this this wallpaper isn't counting as red. Or black or something. Because the bar should be going up a lot. Unless the ceiling paint is... Like, something's not counting as red. Because this whole place... I mean, other than that, or it's waiting for me to have the ceiling done. This... I hate this room so much. This is such an awful... Such an awful... Wall. Um... Oh, man. I got the... I got the... The monochromatic. Everything about this room so far makes me think the bed should have a coin operated by range frequency. And I keep switching because I'm burning lots of money doing this. Every time I recolor it, it's costing me more money. I just really want to satisfy whatever the person wants to be done with it. Ooh, 
What is not being considered black or red? Unless maybe I have to have the furniture as well for it to go over. All right, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go move. Oh, a spot. Okay, we're all good. No, we're not. I'm gonna go with that just so we move on. Okay. Oh, that's weird. That's a cool effect. I didn't think of that. Yeah, no, I like that. It has kind of this, like, interesting texture to it. That's neat. I is fan. Okay, so we've got everything painted. Um, so I'm assuming our furniture needs to be black and red. So let's go ahead and pop in here. To our furniture. We need a bed. Special. We'll deal with that in a minute. No headboard. Yeah, let's go for that. So let's see, can we get black? Let's let's try and get like actual red red. that red like it looks red there is this on steam yes it is it's hotel renovator that that's fine we're just going to uh stick with the red it looks very magenta Sure. Stopping. It's fine. Looks like they have a new game to try. Gotcha. Cool. Which, for the record, the devs did give me the keys to this game. Um, it is not sponsored content. Like, they're not paying me to play it. But they did give me the keys to start with. You know what? Put TV in here. And I need another shelf or drawer, whatever it is. Yeah, we'll, we'll put a nightstand here. We'll do that. Tab.
All right, so we've got that. We need a table. This room is just so dark. All right, and we need a couch. Let's see. That's fine. The whole reflective thing. I dislike that couch so much. But next time you put a alarm in the middle of the bed between the pills, you had to bolt it down. I mean, there's obviously not. Well, I shouldn't say there's eyes. There isn't a mechanic that's that's like okay, you know, insert bolts. Okay, and so furniture is counting towards the red and black. You wish there was? Understandable. Do you have something that matches that arch here? Probably not. Not really. This is a really weird layout too. Because they kind of put that table in there. No mirrors. It's very specific that mirrors were a no-go. I need shelves. We got some new, more interesting shelves. 
Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. And not a whole lot. We're uh, we're making a hotel for a vampire. Well, hotel room for a vampire, apparently. Which is not what I was expecting this game to be. All right, cool. Make that one black. All right, so I need one sliver of more black or red to make him happy. We also need curtains and candles and all that. Um, all right, so we need a sink. Well, bathtub, sorry. Just doing trough practically. That's fine, I can live with it. What are you feeding pigs in there? Yeah, it's it's a weird bathtub. All the bathtubs, like they have like your standard like house bathtub. But, like, all the other bathtubs have been, like, just kind of weird choices. Alright, so we're at least moving up on our toilet design, where we've got, like, floating toilet, like, floating tank toilets and all that. Like, you got these two, which are, like, your kind of your classic designs. Then you got, like, tankless, a different tankless. Um, the really squatting low toilet, which is actually, like, really good for your digestive system. Like, human beings weren't really well designed to sit. Can move it up the wall? No. Oh, no, wait. yes you can. That one you can. Oh no. Don't give me this power game. Do they actually have some, like, cabinet sinks or anything? Not sure where I want to put that. I think I'll put it here. Let's see. They better not request a mirror. They specifically said they do not want a mirror. So they have... That is a hacking bathroom cabinet. Like... Some of those are some pretty ridiculous bathroom cabinets. I'm kind of liking that I'm like... Just going really that's like... Um, I feel like I could make it well past the coffin before piecing it together. <laughs> yeah, there's, um, there's a definitely an aesthetic to this room. There's no question about that there is there is a certain design very heavily prevalent in this room. Put like a larger one over here. That's bigger than I want, I think. Actually, that might work. As well do is we'll take you We'll make you look plastic and red. We'll grab the toilet, scooch it close to the center. Now I need to... Bathroom wall accessories. Of course, before we do anything else, we're going to need toilet paper. Right, those don't have any changes you make to them. 
Um, alright, so we have the toilet paper. I need one other thing in here. So a set of towels right by the bathtub. And a set of towels over here. And decorations. Always have a set of towels. It's just what you need to do. And... Do we have candles for here? No. There, you have soap. With Hotel 4 Vampires or Hotel 5 Vampires, both. Um, it's our next guest is a vampire. So it's not that the hotel, like, is designed with intent specifically for vampires or the other way. It just so happens the guest we are currently... Oh, I can't actually put on. There's no headboard to put that on. There, that's fine. Um, it's that we actually have... So they want candles. They want lots of candles. Okay, we officially have enough candles. Curtains. How do... Oh, interesting. There wasn't a closed curtain that we saw. Can I at least change the color of the curtains? I should be able to do that, right? No? Really? Ah, uh, there we go. It just has a weird a weird box to it. So we go to the flower, where is the rose? And I still don't have enough black and red. We're like right on the fence of it. So I need a little bit more black and red in this place. Um, is there a carpet? like, Or not a carpet, a rug I can put down? Uh, 
I'd actually like this to be a solid color. Or near solid color. I am displeased by this. Alright, um... Assuming these will have basically the same pattern. What else can I put in here to make us have more furniture? That'd be black. Oh, I still have paintings and all that to put up. Yeah. That definitely fits the aesthetic. Ah, uh, yes. The neon blue martini glass. Oh, there you go. For the uh, comment earlier. Definitely different vibe there. Soundproofing panels. There you go, black and red. Now brewing panels around the bedroom. It wouldn't be so bad. Except I have to place these like one by one by one. All right, we get a plant. That feels vaguely appropriate for some reason. All right, we need lighting. can actually change the colors of them. Well, that's a change of the light bulb. Weird. Hmm. I don't have a good place to put these. They got these candles all over the place. I don't. It's fine. Now we need wall lights. Black light in the bedroom. I don't think we have a black light. Got lighting at the sink. Chandelier. That's way off center.
Vampires gotta get their news. Um, I don't know if I actually got the optional for the black and red. I think we did. I mean, it made all the lights red as well. So, this is a deeply upsetting room. I also love that when the light gets through here, you cannot see anything. Alright, so I'm going to walk outside the room this time. Oh, I have to be inside. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the best angle. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Okay. Hi. Oh, ma'am, I'm so sorry. The room is dark and gloomy, just the way I like it. I do have a small request, though. Could you take me to the basement? Um, no. no. Please, do not turn on the light. I can see you just fine. The interior is dark and damp. Just as I prefer. And what is this closet? Empty chest. Find special item. Oh, hi. Um. Don't, don't follow me. You're going to hurt me. Is this secretly a horror game? Memento. Okay. She might also be a vampire. Oh, um... No. It's just much more comfortable than the bed. I think it will stay here. I'll pay for the room, of course. Don't fret. Thank you for understanding. I want to put something heavy on top of the box, please. Allow me to put something heavy on top of the box. Oh, great. We killed two birds with one stone. While our strange guest sleeps in the chest, our new customer can stay in the room 103. We doubled our income. I... Yukima? Yukima, I, I want to leave. I don't want to be here anymore, Yukima. Hello. I'm seeing up from the horizons. You might have heard our single, Destroy. We'd love to record a video in your lobby while you smash the place up. Add a microphone stand, studio lamps, and electric guitar, and video cameras. Alright, I can get behind this. This is neat. But what, what special do, anyway? A ghost trap, pet bulls. Oh, that'd be the studio lamps. That's a fun way of getting you to actually do this room as part of like just not just an arbitrary quest.
but like actually have it be something that's um makes sense contextually. Oh, you were talking some heckin' cameras. Okay, I misunderstood. No, actually, it should be this side. We'll have one camera off this side so we can get the guitarist as we smash that way. And then the other camera will obviously be like direct front center. Um, and we need a microphone stand. <laughs> Alright, that's clever. I like that. I'm assuming it's a band, so it'll be the guitarist and the vocalist. The singer. If you have a vampire, you may need a ghost trap. I was not expecting it. This is awesome. I actually really like this as a way of getting you to clean up your lobby. I'd be like, oh no, man. Felt pretty weak the way you were smashing stuff up. You just really didn't go for it. It's almost like the people who made the game is like, I like rock music. I need an excuse to put some rock music here. It's like, we'll just have them smash up the place. Um, wait now? Come again? Hey, wait a second. Oh, thank you. Thanks for job, my friend. You truly, I miss the rest of it. Oh, look at this mess. You better start renovating the lobby right away. That was awesome. Oh, and they gave us twenty twenty thousand dollars for the video clip payment. Man, I wish I could make a video and get twenty thousand dollars out of it. Just, like, play what's obviously a song we probably play all the time because, you know, we're a band and we usually establish a song that has our sound and, like, that's all we do all the time. Oh, after, like, that's part of the repair thing. That's not actually rubbish here. Alright, so now I have to actually choose what my lobby is going to look like. Um, alright. <laughs> Grass. Oh, we messed up on Vlad's room. We'll have to go up there and fix it. I just realized I made a mistake there. It's fine. There is one correction I have to make. It's important. Uh, I like wood floors, but... The lobby, none of those wood floors feel particularly good. No. So many of these hurt the eyes. It's it's funny how they have so many designs and you're like, ah, no, no, that's not the one. No, no, I'm not feeling it. 
heaven help us all if Let's Game It Out gets a hold of this. It'll be an amazing video if he does. Just not feeling it. Like, this one feels like it could work. Not that color, but that design, I could... Oh, a lot of those are terrible. Um, let's... Let's tone it down a notch. I could go for that. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna go with that. You do something like to accent those side areas. Oh, good. Now there's no furniture in the way, that egg is really easy to find. Oh, I didn't get the front, did I? Okay. And just because it's kind of the, uh, Channel thing. What's the clothes they have to a solid color carpet? Do they have an orange? Ah, uh, no, that is not orange at all. What are, what are you talking about? Is this actually going to look yellow, or is it going to look this color? It does, in fact, look yellow. That's terrible. I hate it. Um, I want I want orange, like orange, orange. I mean that that red looks about the right orange. It's a little too red. All right, maybe maybe we just make the uh, the floor there solid gray. Why is it so bright? Like you look at the color on the bottom, like ah, that's the right gray. And then you look at the carpet; it's basically off white. Try tile. Of course. All right, so I got to re remove that. As I was afraid of, that's fine. Excellent. Alright, good night, Shatter. Thank you for hanging out. Really do appreciate it. Alright, so we missed that spot. Hmm. We'll see how the other area looks before I get... We'll, we'll, wait, we'll wait in that one. Because what I'm thinking I'm going to do, and this is probably a bad idea because... From every time I've looked at painting walls and all that, um, this does end up not working well as a color. Let's see. Hello there. Yeah, we'll go with it. And hey, how's it going? So I mean these for just to be accent color, which is the reason I'm only putting them in like these little, these little spots like that. On well, behind the front desk too. All right. So what I want to do now is break out our crowbar again. Very carefully take. Just those four. 
and go to flooring, go track tiles, pop back over to you. Make our accents there. When our guests lost their wallet and needed help searching for it, apparently there's a big sum of money at stake. Go to lobby, find the wallet. Um, it shouldn't be hard. I have no furniture. Good job finding the wallet. What shall we do? Return it. Good job, by the wallet. What shall we do with it now? Return it. Yay, we got 300 bucks from it. You found it. Great. What? What is happening here? Somewhere. Well, that's interesting that it splits there. Please don't do the whole room. Okay, okay, we're good. Cool. All right, so we got our little accent walls. We've got all that going on. Um, we need to do our regular walls now. You know, what? let's go with the other. Where was the stone? Orange, oh yeah, 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 good call. I missed that one. I should absolutely have it. There we go. Let's double check. So that one's that whole wall, so I don't want to do that. Let's do there. Um, we'll see where we go from there. So I did like that stone wall. Hmm. Would that be darker? Like, I like it. I'm not sure if it should be dark. I don't think that dark. Like, the, the straight up black is too dark. I think it's it's I think it's fine. Oh, uh, we'll make the uh the trim around the elevators also. Accent walls. Sorry about the uh the stuttering. I found when I um set up a whole bunch of these at once, the whole game kind of just struggles with it. They'll settle down once a bunch of these walls get done. Yeah, 
Yeah, so we'll make the door frame the accent color. Oh, it's like, you're all done. <laughs> I am definitely not done. Alright, that's fine. Um, okay. So I still need to do the stuff for the ceiling. I haven't quite figured out what I'm doing with that yet. I feel like that's just going to be kind of a muted color. That... That hang when you go to paint the entire ceiling. You click in the whole game, just like, no. All right, we'll have to wait and see if we miss spots because it'll take forever for that paint. Oh yeah, you, you. Yeah, let's see what what it actually finishes the paint. All right, so now I actually have to do furniture. So I need these two basic lobby furniture things. Let's try and put over here like a um not an entertainment center per se. Like a room for people to sit at and do whatever. I know what we could do. We could make ourselves like a makeshift bar. Too low, I need some higher. Hope one of those really long ones. I think it's about the best you're gonna get. Go ahead and put this like here. Well actually. Operate with me. Good enough. Um, all right, so what's this you have about a room? There's a complaint in one of the rooms. Demon of Destruction, go to the room. I do like that all the furniture lifts up when you go to sweep. I'm hearing dinging again and again and again. 
It is very upsetting. Alright, but before we forget, um, I need to go walls, wallpaper graphics, that's what I'm looking for. Patterns? No. I guess it was this. No, it's not what I'm looking for. No. Maybe it was under decorations? Stickers! There we go. I forgot about it. That would be his real Minecraft cobblestone castle feel. Who keeps spamming my bell? I knew it was gonna happen. The moment I like realized I had stepped away, it's like, oh man, this thing's gonna move, and I got to deal with it. Uh, okay, let's make it a really dark wood, because it's trying to play the part of a bar counter. You know what the best we're gonna get. A very low bar counter. You sit on the floor. That's how this works. Um, why are you saying they have so little covered now? But it's like almost all covered. Unless, unless we have to consider that upstairs as well, which... Thank you, Ruingor, for subscribing for seven months. Thank you, Ruingor, for the tier one sub. That's Hello. seven... <laughs> That's seven months you've been subbed to the channel. I really do appreciate the continued support, and uh, I do hope you're enjoying yourself some advertising, free viewing, as well as access to the emotes. So thank you again for that continued support. It really doesn't mean a lot. I wonder why it's saying I've got so little of this painted. Like, that upstairs wasn't something that we dealt with. I didn't see where we were left off. No, we had actually had enough that it had, like, gone and, um, I don't understand. Oh, it... Okay, I just had to walk away and come back. That's fine. We can go with that. Don't look directly at it. It's fine. We can just leave it exactly where it is. Um. Alright, so we have a whole bunch of chairs that it wants to give us. Let's get some... That feels like it might be appropriate. Yeah, I think the one of the metal bars... Yeah, the metal side bars... Feels about right. So I can... Put you there. The nurse set here. Put you here. Or sit there. I'll probably have to adjust their distances from each other, but that's okay. Furniture. Tables. I want just like the biggest table we can find. There's not a lot of options that are particularly large. That'll have to do. Yeah, 
it kind of intrudes into the main room of the lobby, but I can actually live with that. The idea is I'm making this into a bar, and it needs to be like where you'd get your drinks and go back to. Um, so I need to make a whole bunch of just smaller sofas. Anything that fits the aesthetic we already have. I don't like it, but that sort of does. Those sort of do as well. This looks like a nightclub lounge now? Yeah! I'm actually okay with that. That's kind of... Not really the point of it, but you get the idea. Oh, what I ought to do, is there any of these chairs that could pass as a bar stool? Oh, that'll work. That'll pass as a bar stool. Yes, well, I mean, in a bar stool, they're never comfortable. Michael Vampers, is that a day club? Can you hear that? Must be the crazy chicken. Uh, she's on the hotel, on one of the hotel's floors. See if you can find her. I'm busy. I want to finish renovating the lobby. And everyone is trying to stop me. And I do not appreciate it. Okay, is there something that could look like a liquor cabinet? But you could see in there, I could say that. Because you'd... That, that might pass. I just need something that's open with a bunch, bunch of shelves. And that's actually not bad. None of them are a perfect match. I think, I think we go for... Where's the one? That one. I think we put one here. That's the thing, is they're going because they need to have wall shelves as well, so I'm gonna cram these over in the corners. Because I'm required to have do those. Can I I wanna make it kind of match the rest of the wood here? What's that? That one's like a gray. Exactly what I was thinking it'll go. So it goes saying, and a giant mirror behind it, some shelves of giant mirror. Cool. Alright, and so now I go furniture, shelves. So those can pass as bar shelves. Those definitely could pass as bar shelves. That can pass as a bar shelf. Um, I think that's our best bet. Oh, sorry, Burning Sun. I'm so sorry. I just see the green text. I'm so sorry. I do that too much, and that's on me. That's, uh, when you're reading chat, you're like, boom, what are the important words? Cool, moving on. So I need six sets of shelves. I think these, these ones go over. Yeah, so I think... Can you set a nickname, not Ogoso? I can probably actually do that. The top shelf in this place is way up there. 
Just saying. I feel bad for whoever's working the bar having to reach that high. Alright, now I need to go through and get these all to be a decent color for what we've got. So, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, pop, pop. Well, I'm playing and actually putting a sink back there. I kind of wish the move and the highlight were two separate things. So when I hit space, it centers on my mouse, so I have to like reposition after any time I go to recolor it. Kind of wish those are two different buttons. It's not a huge deal, but it'd be convenient that once you get stuff positioned. All right, um, let's see. So, before we get too much farther, I am going to go to the. That's not actually what I want. I don't want a bathtub. Wash stands. Standing on top of the sink always ends well in movies. Can't confirm. Absolutely. Alright, so leave it at that for right now while we get the decorations in here. Um, we're putting all our time and effort into this this corner and nowhere else. Ah uh, yes. Just what you want on the bar. A big old pile of books. Fill up all these cabinets with books. Actually that could work depending like you could have an event like there's um Back when there was a, what was it called? Pleasure Island? Um, at Disney? They had an actual club that was called the Adventurers Club that had like, it was very Indiana Jones-esque, but there's a bunch of books and random looking artifacts and all that kind of stuff. Yes, right there. That gets super awkward. <laughs> I could have sworn there's a bunch of, like, glasses and such. Why can I not put the bottle inside of anything? The teacup. It's that kind of bar. There we go. I don't like the positioning. It's so hard to knock them right in the edge. You go with a pub instead of a bar. Make a bunch of mugs. And I wish I could stand on things. I was thinking the same thing, it's just like, drop from what's above, well that's about eye line, so assuming we're a normal height, we're like talking upper five, lower six, 
I know I don't need more decorations, but I mean, anyway, I can make that work. Again, feel real bad for the bartenders. We're gonna, we're gonna find something that looks like a stepping stool and just put it in, like, under the sink or something. That is a heckin' sturdy shot glass, that's all I'm saying. Okay, so I think we're not going to bother with more decorations there. Hey, before, man, I spent $88,000 on bar decorations. I can't progress the main story. No, that's 88000 I have left. Oh yeah, that fits the aesthetic. Just a neon glowing pink flamingo. Yep, I am going to put colored lights behind the bar. That seems like a thing to actually do, advertise the bar. Um, but where? It doesn't really fit the aesthetic. Like, it feels like a good choice. I just don't know where we'd put it. Because so you don't want you don't want to like right in here because everyone's looking at this glaring bright neon thing the whole time they're trying to sit and enjoy their their drinks. I have to put up at least four of these. Like literally use these as like dividers. Oh. You know what? Never mind. It wasn't for that shelf. I could see putting like right here. Ah, the wall paintings are so hard to decide on. I was also just thinking about doing stuff like this. bunch of the black and white ones so that they're all neutrals guess we will do the boats it's fine all right not super sold in those those art things but it's not gonna stop harassing me unless I do it Water plant that stood up well here. Shove stuff in these corners. Like that would be good, but it's no. Actually, that works. Got those on our side of the bar.
Can't seem to make stuff land well in there. Um. Can't put them on the windowsills. There we got our plants. Cool. Next up are lights of this nature. Hmm. That looks way more yellow. I'd like it to look red, um, orange. Surprisingly, that brown actually is the one that looks the most orange so far. I have that style light. Sadly, it's unlocked. Not unlocked yet. Just got to make do. All right, and now we want the wall lights, which are the ones I'm going to use on the bar. Oh, there's light too, and I have it locked. Um, bum, bum, bum. Oh, I was hoping to sneak that under so it looked like it's backlit. Good enough. Alright, and I need to do this. Okay, and mirrors. Wasn't expecting to have a whole bunch of those. All right, so I can't rotate them. That's fine. I was hoping for like a wide mirror as opposed to a tall mirror. That's fine. We got a frameless that'll work too. Just a tall frameless. No? Well, that sucks. That'll work. Or not. Okay, so we still need more mirrors. Not entirely sure where we're going to put those.
Um. Good enough for me. You have no shadow. Well, your reflection is nightmare fuel. Oh, guys are your face. Okay, never mind, my bad. Um. We got a TV screen as a possibility. We got a camera. We got one giant speaker set. Yeah, like a jukebox, maybe? Well, we apparently have a record player. I put this on the front desk. I want to I want to tuck it on a corner somewhere. Good enough for me. Um. All right. So we should put some speakers up, even though I don't need to. Oh, they don't hang in the wall. Land your digs? I'm actually kind of disappointed that those speakers don't hang in the wall. That feels like such an obvious thing is to make it so you can hang the speakers up high. I'd have to make like a tiny shelf for them. Okay, that speaker clearly has brackets for hanging in the wall. Mm-hmm. Can make this even worse of the bar staff. The bar staffs could be sitting there trying to my like do their bar work. They're just gonna have like the speakers blasting right next to them. It's fine. Okay. Now to repair the front desk. Um, five percent more. Yay! So this is our lobby. I mean, the upstairs obviously has been. Oh, God. Um, hi, I'm throwing a bachelorette party for our friend Abigail. Abigail, you're coming all the way from Pelican Town? Um, and we would like to stay here for a few days. We need a special room for the bride to be. Here's the list of requirements party balloons, a mini fridge, neon decorations. Okay. Like when they put me next to the speakers at face painting. Yeah. Oh, is it downstairs? Stop ting tinging. Stop ting tinging. Oh my god, I'll kill them all. Clearly downstairs. Whoever is ting tinging the bell, you're not leaving this hotel. Yeah. I've um I not had that one. There's times I've done like Um Okay, that's interesting watching it slowly loaded. Oh uh, yeah, I was gonna do stuff. One second. Hold up. We're not done here. I had plans for these walls. Um, so what I wanted to do is what looked like a recessed light. But I may not be able to do that. It's fine. I'll see if we get a recessed light later. Where 
Where's the rest of this building? So it wants me to go to the room that the chicken is in. And approach the chicken. Oh, it says Corridor 1, approach the chicken. I'm so confused. It's just perpetually tinging at me. Um, what? Oh, wait, wait, huh? What? Looks like she is challenging to a dice duel. It's a draw. Okay. Oh, we're losing that round. The chicken wins this round. If I win, does the chicken go away? Yeah, get wrecked, chicken. So it wants me to battle the chicken five times. It's a draw. It's one and one. Get wrecked, chicken. Wow, you won. Congratulations. I got the achievement Roll With It and the achievement Soulmate. I don't like what this is implying. Oh, hi. Okay. <laughs> this game has a lot of bizarre stuff happening. So it's 106, 105. It also said, go to the suspicious room, and I got a marker on my map behind my building in the park. Oh, um, I haven't looked at my PDA in a while. So let's see, skills. Dynamite. A specifically crafted mixture of explosives that takes care of all equipment covering in a room without causing structural damage. Handle with care. Hey, hammer, you get, um, you better hit the gym if you want to swing this beauty. This hammer was a powerful tool that can tear down an entire wall or floor covering with just one hit. And I can't buy it yet. Okay. So yeah, so I can't I can't get any of these things yet. Despite having a bunch of money. And we have a journal. Because someone really doesn't like us and trash some of the equipment. Yeah, that's a chicken. That's a chicken, that's a chicken, that's a chicken. The character we met we met Vlad. We've got Celine Jones. We got the bridesmaids. We found the letter. We found five of the twelve things. Belly boy uniform. I found the old belly boy uniform with the name Roy on the badge. This means that Grandpa must have worked here before he became the owner. The uniform is still in great condition and looks almost new. It seems it meant a lot to him for him to decide to keep it. Bookings. Um. There's a negative influence if she gets scared. There's a positive influence of... Fear. They have the same negative and positive influence. They literally all have the same. Oh, it's showing how much they have gotten scared. Ah! Got you. So I have someone famous staying here, which has a positive effect. And then Vlad scares people, which has a negative effect. Oh, and those are tips. I thought there was tip. Okay. Cool.
Are you in the right room? I am not. Thank you. The good news is it seems like it's gonna just keep giving us clients and it'll tell us to go to the next room, to the next room, to the next room until we do them all. Um, is that not trash? It's kind of cool, because this is like, in a lot of ways, it's like House Flipper. You know, where it's sit there, they go, I need you to do X, Y, Z. Here's your requirements for, like, this house. You know, rebuild this, redo that. Um, but the difference being is it persists. So it's not like House Flipper where I build a house, and then after I finish the mission, it's like the house ceases to be relevant or exist in any meaningful capacity. Um, with this, it's your hotel, so once you built the rooms, they stay there forever. Yeah, it seems like there's certain stuff I can click and hold to just delete. There's other stuff I have to smack the crowbar. I'm more concerned about how you end up with these hotel rooms where there's a bunch of pallets with, you know, boxes falling off of the, falling off them and trash bags. I would assume you'd either not clean it up in the first place, or you'd at least, you know, like it'd, it'd be like still just debris on the ground, or you'd at least take the trash bag out. Oh, Grandpa. You're just like the Grandpa from Stardew Valley. Where it's like, you get back to location, and it's like, how is this in such a bad state of repair? How did this happen? Okay, we've demolitioned everything. Oh, I missed. Looks like someone's having a party in one of our rooms. They're being far too loud. Several guests complained already. Go find those party animals and quiet them down. Oh, I'll knock on your door. Room 103? again. Yeah, so the reason it's tinting is each time I'm going into a room, it's adding new objectives for me to do on the bottom right. Um, and it's telling me like, okay, you still need to finish clearing this room up. You need to do this.
I look forward to apparently sometime in the story I'm going to get the uh, the dynamite. Where we're gonna be like, I just wanna clear this room. Which is gonna be interesting. I suspect they do that when you've done most of the rooms at least once. And that you know you're just dealing with kinda like getting your various guests that pop in who say, I want the room to be this and that. So instead of having to like do all this as manually, you just go into a room and just wipe out the whole room in one go. It looks like I also get a sledgehammer that's much the same effect. I guess the reason I, they don't tell you to um, throw off the ceiling is you're just going to paint it. So it doesn't matter. This has been a fun game so far. I hope everyone else is enjoying it. I've been having a good time with it. It's kind of this weird, this weird middle between like house flipper... And like some hotel management thing. It's mostly like the house flipper side of it. Like the hotel management thing is just do house flipper things. I actually want to hit that. Now granted, it does do like a house flipper when I go to put in the toilet. Like you don't have to like actually, you know, attach the plumbing and all that kind of stuff. Like house flipper gets way more involved in that aspect. Which I kind of actually could go for. But I do like the idea that you have like you know, the guests that are, like, all specific on things they want, and you're trying to operate a sustained business and all that. It's also interesting when you think about it that I started at 100000 and something money, and we're definitely down from there, but it's the whole we've added hotel rooms that we can now get money from sustained. That's kind of neat. I'm also noticing they have, like crown molding and all that kind of stuff in some of these rooms. We don't have the option to do that. And while there are a lot of stuff that happens constantly, like, being a nuisance, I do like that it breaks up the, um, the working on the rooms by having, you know, like, those guests that were having a party that had to be like, hey, cut it out, you know, deal with the chicken. Those golden eggs in that a video shoot, the dice game, are where the real money came from. Let's be real. Yeah. If you haven't noticed when it comes to, like, the amount of money I'm getting per time or whatever, I'm getting 350 dollars per like oh that is tile okay it's like yeah for some reason i thought this room was already stripped it's like what am i missing yeah like um we're only getting 350 an in-game day with our current residents and i think what'll happen is that will build up but it does seem like all those events are where the money's at Okay, so now I need to clean up the mess. You have no idea how much I wish I could clean like this. There's like this whole room scuzzy. Bam. Two thirds of the room done. The rest of the room done. All right, so I still apparently have one tile of flooring, and that might be three tiles of a uh, wall covered.
It's just weird the way it looks, that's all. Okay. Probably in the bathroom. Just because it's hard to make out what is and isn't. Are you already cleared? There's that. Yeah, the ceilings don't seem to count as wall, I don't believe. We can certainly check. Let's find out. Nope, I stand corrected. The top of the windows absolutely does count. It's really not the ceiling, because there's no way that all the entire ceiling for the entire place doesn't count for more than that. Alright, so the walls are done. And the floor's done. Cool, we got it. And there's a mess in here. And in here. Alright, so they don't care about the aesthetics of the room beyond. Hey, we have a problem. Our elevator's jammed. What do we do? We tell him to take the stairs. Um. Hire a repairman or repair it myself. Use a crowbar. I'm sorry. The way I fixed the elevator was to walk up the door and just wrench it open with the crowbar. Not, not fix anything else. Just go to the door and be like, "Yeah, okay, everyone, it's good to go. Have, be on your way." I'm uh, be honest. I'm skeptical of that uh, of that repair job. Get that light out of here. Yeah, I was like, use a crowbar. It's like, okay, I'm prying my way into the door. All right. So, I... It's not telling me to do anything for, like, actually designing the room. It says, add a party, balloons, add a mini fridge, neon decorations, book the room. So, uh, is this satisfactory? We just put some neon stuff on the wall? It's fine. We're gonna actually clean up. Um, so this is the first room I haven't had, like, strict requirements of what we're doing. Let's make this one a wood floor. We haven't done that yet. There we go. I like that. Ceramic tiles. We missed by the windows. All right, all the floors are done. Okay. And I like doing the stone walls of the bathroom. Not necessarily like the, like, oh, we could make this some like ridiculous thing like this. Check on the door frames. You're right. The door frames lied to me. Okay. I 
I'd see doing like a ridiculous pattern wall here. Not these. Get get these out of here. Like have it almost as an accent wall. Like just the one wall. Yeah, I like that one. That'd be like an accent wall for this room. Not wood panels, not wood panels. Cool. So we got a bunch of marble walls and an accent wall. Actually, that accent wall does not... Okay, the accent wall is gone. Because that accent wall does not work with this. It's like, I like it. It does not fit the aesthetic we got going on in this room. Those do not go together. Alright, so now we need to do the ceiling, which means paint. Alright. Meanwhile, for here... Ah, uh, yes. The Bats the Red Party with the Wall of Cats. That feels like some, some people would actually go for this style. Let's go a number of ways. That's more wall coverings. We already have a lot of stone look in this place. Uh, that doesn't really have anything. Hmm. No heck with it. All right. Let's try and find something that works a little bit better to go with that. So let's go for a brighter color. We keep going with the stone because it's one of the few things that gives me a neutral that actually has some interest to it. Worst case, though, you can actually paint on the stone from what we found, which is pretty cool. Oops, we have an issue. There's a crack pipe in one of the cracked pipe in one of the rooms. Um, head over there now. All right, one second. Let me make sure I got all this done. At least when it comes to the walls, I know the walls are done. I'm missing a tiny. There we go. All right. 
Is a crack pipe in the rooms? Well, always. Uh, investigate the situation, room 101. 102. What are you talking about? You like turn the valve. What what are you talking about? Oh, on the basement. Okay, I see what you're saying. The bachelor part is like, look, man, you've taken so long, she's already married. It's also weird when you walk in here, it takes a while for all the textures to load. Okay, so I'm going to run back up and clean the room. Yeah, no, that's the thing. It took me a moment to notice that I was listed under basement. It's room 101. Um, it's no longer a mess. I have already cleaned it. Thank you. back in here um and we need to go here to do the ceiling paint so I keep using the gray ceiling just because it's a neutral and it works let's let's make you like a light tan Did I get this one in here? Um, I did not, and you were the gray. Now keep that in the khaki. There you go. Okay, so I think we've got all painted up. All right. So let's figure out what kind of bed we're doing for this room. Going for a vaguely aquatic scene. Go for the darker one. They've got the bed. Grab the cupboards. Little nightstands or whatever. Uh, not you. We'll go with that. 
Pump some space. What a more of an aqua. It doesn't it doesn't need to be like over the top. That's gonna be the best we get. Okay, we got a posture check, a stretch. Oh, it's also an ad break. Um, my apologies. So give me two seconds, because what I'm going to do real fast is I'm going to get words, or not words on stream. I'm going to get um the marbles on stream going, because we've got an ad break. So let's go ahead and get this going. I do apologize about not being on top of it. But um, so you want to go ahead and do exclamation mark play to get in for the the marbles on stream. I haven't displayed it, so my apologies, that's on me. Yep, there you go. Um so as much more play to go show up for that. Um and this is just something we're doing for the ad break so that there's stuff going on that we're not missing out of stuff. Now granted me just kind of cleaning up the place doesn't seem to be that. But um we do get random events of the chicken. So who knows what's gonna end up happening with that. Thanks so much for everyone who's been tuning in, has been lurking, chatting, following, subscribing to the bits, hosts, donos, and the raids. It all helps and I really do appreciate it. I do hope you've been enjoying the stream so far. While this is going on, I'm going to take two seconds to quickly bother too. And I'll be right back, and I'm going to eat a little bit of my food real fast, because that's a good thing for the outbreak. So I'll be right back. Sorry. The uh the downside is with the um when I step away, I need to figure out how there's gotta be a way you can say follow the leading person. Like if I don't do anything, follow the leading person. Yeah, and I was just helping Tomb. She's um her leg's been bothering her today. I think she pulled some at work, so I was helping her get situated while I was over there, so it took me a little longer than I expected. Which is all good. She also then gave me a cookie. So I have Hi, Canon. So I have a cookie now. And I don't think you're gonna make it. <laughs> All right, what kind of cookie? It's uh, it's a fancy cookie. It's a mint chocolate chip on the top on a chocolate chip cookie with icing on top of that. And it'll go so one abusing those moderator powers. But um, yeah. So we we're just doing that for the ad break. So let's get a switch back over. So marbles on stream popping off. Mail me one. <laughs> But it's the last one. There are no more. You can't prove I abuse my pod powers. There are no witnesses. No, thank you. You don't have to share a cookie. Yeah, I know some people aren't into mint. Tomb, Tomb isn't a big fan of mint either. Like, she doesn't mind stuff with, like, a little mint. But, like, yeah. No witnesses. He'll ban them. Witnesses are a temporary state of being. Um, alright.
I'm mean, actually not bother with the dark wood this time. We'll just leave regular wood. Yeah, so this has been a lot of fun. So we're we're making basically we're setting up a hotel room. Um I don't like half these chairs, honestly. Like this straight up looks like you went to IKEA. Which is nothing wrong with that. And it's the chair I'm gonna go with. Didn't we have a much bigger? No. Let's get the L couch. I wish I wish you could mirror the couch. I really wish you could make the couch mirror. It's fine. Scooch it a little bit away from the wall so I can sneak a lamp behind it. That works. And... In that corner next to the window will be full of bugs. Yup. Is there an L couch in the other direction? Uh, let me d double check. I think there was, but I think it was a different style. There is. You know what? We'll have both. Because that's what we're doing here. Watch, they won't have the same pattern. Or anything even remotely complimentary. That'll do good. well enough. There we go. Well, they want this room for a bachelorette party. So you know what? We'll give them two couches. That's fine. Yeah, I'm going for kind of like, not for the bathroom, but for the rest of this place. Kind of like, you know, an aquatic thing. That'll have to do. Excellent use of Lurid. Is it going to set the room to enable uh, bachelorette party shenanigans? I mean, of course. Oh wait, that was an option? Oh, that's technically a couch. Or sofa, whatever you want to call it. You actually didn't have a bachelor party? Bachelorette party? I don't remember what... What did I do for mine? So like... I know we went to, there was a Brazilian steakhouse, and I remember that part. Like, it was a very tame thing. Did we do an escape room? No, I don't think we did an escape room. What the heck, what, what the heck did we do? Um. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it was... It was fantastic.
Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Yep. Ah. There we go. And for anything... Nah, it's flowers. Anything looks like... Aquatic, like... Yeah, that's, um... So my birthday's actually coming up, and that's, uh... That's the plan that we have for, um... For that. Okay, what's a Brazilian steakhouse? Um, so it's all you can eat. It's not just steak. It'll be stuff like... I mean, if actually, if you just do a suit for, search for Brazilian steakhouse, they'll give you, like, a whole list of stuff, but they'll do, like, plank steak, a whole bunch of different steak, like, ribeyes, bacon wrap stuff. They'll have, like, chicken that. And how's it different to the thing? But, um, they'll also sit there and they'll... Let's see. If you went to your soon-to-be's bachelorette party, it's not a bachelor bachelorette party. Yeah. But, um, it's what happens is instead of being, like, you go to, like, an all-you-can-eat steak place, they go, I'd like a steak, and they give you a steak or whatever. Or, like, you go up to the thing with your little your plate and be like hey you know i want i want that one they cut it depending on how like nice or not nice it is brazilian steakhouse they um they like walk up and they'll have like it, it's not a sword but it'll be like a big spike that they'll have the thing on they'll walk up and like cut you a slice and they'll put it on your plate and all that but um it's it's pretty fun stuff like it's it's usually they don't have much in the way like you know, if if someone's in your party, they usually have that who's vegetarian. It's like, here's the salad. Oh, is it a good salad? Eh. Sometimes they're decent. Imagine how it's at like a sushi bar with conveyor belts and that, but it's steak. It's really nice steak. Uh, can we have a different mod put? Oh, go so on timeout for that one. It's not just one steakhouse. It's not even a thousand steakhouse. It's a whole Brazilian steakhouse. Mm-hmm. That's um. FG Squared has the pungent. Like, I'm not gonna take that. Like, that's that's her thing. But it's like, I see where that came from. I understand how that came to be a thing. And I am entirely in support of it. Oh, this is like, I've been in the pungent more than once. Yeah, I am. Um, here's my surprised face. I know I keep using these same shells as thought. There's not been a lot of shells I like. To the pun of terror with you. Alright, so we gotta do the bathroom. Yeah, the bat like so looking at this aesthetic. I mean, the blue and all that makes me think there's like someone who actually has some design sense. These shelves are all way too mod. Did you mean to put mid mod um and then this is like oh modern gotcha modern yeah but um you see like this kind of bathroom like this is the place intended to be a bachelor pad like this you know just the the marble looking walls like the solid neutrals like all that it's like this this is 100 oh i missed a spot this is 100% bachelor pad approach. Oh, that's upsetting. We're just not going to look straight at it. It's fine. Whenever I have to redo this room, I'm going to clean that up. So what happened is, the parts of the ceiling that I left alone look all like that, and the parts of the ceiling I didn't are smooth. Oh, hi. Ben, you have some cleaning up to do. When it rains, the hotel turns into a muddy swamp. Why would the hotel turn into a muddy swamp? Why Why is that an acceptable thing? Does my roof need repaired? Like, it gets some gas, you know, like, I get some gas, like, will track water into the place. But I would hardly call that a muddy swamp. And exactly what do I pay you to do? Am I paying you? I guess I should ask that question.
Where is... Do they have like dirt sense or something? I'm really missing from um, Pressure Wash Simulator where you can hit the button and like it blinks orange brightly everywhere that needs to be cleaned. There we go. Great job getting in the mud. I guess I'll be happy you took care of that. Yeah, again. Yamiko? Like you're literally standing at the desk. I just, I just need you to like... Like, you're right there. I'm up here, like, doing massive renovations and doing, apparently, all the construction myself and everything. Why Why is it not registering the wall covering? Nope. Yeah, I've noticed that sometimes with, like, the wall covering, that I have to, like, step out of the room to, like, reset it. That doesn't quite load right. We haven't put a shower in any place yet. We've always done nothing but the bath... Like, the bathtubs. People tell me marble walls is just some type of wallpaper. It's, um... It can be. But usually it's just, like, a thin covering. Like, a laminate kind of thing. Because, like, actually, like, if you built a wall that's actually marble, it'd be a huge pain in the butt to, like, set that up just to, like, shove that on top of what's effectively studs and all that. Not that it never happens. I think it's going to complain if I don't put this here, so I'm going to put it there anyways. So I have both a bathtub and a shower. Yep, it's usually panels. Let's see. You have like a foundation that support it. Just like the room. Yeah. Put a plant in front of the put a plant in front of the window? I probably should. Oh, we're not at that point yet. Like there's like phases it goes in that once you do. Let's grab I like this one here. Is that the one? Yeah, I like this one here. Um. So it. Just because it's like, oh god, that pink here. No, I guess I don't get to do the teal here. Um. Go with that. Um, I'm gonna need a second cabinet. How do you feel about the City Skylines getting announced? I saw it. I haven't seen any of the information about it yet, but I did see that they did announce that City Skylines 2 is coming. I'm pretty excited about that, because for one thing, that means for everyone who's in that situation where they're a billion DLC behind, and you just look at it going, but I don't want to spend a million dollars. With that l a little long, long one out of sync. I mean, I can. I need to make one of these rooms, like, a room for, like, children, where it's just, like, bright, bright colors. Like, really bright colors. It's like, you know, the family who's taking their kid to Disney or whatever. 
or whatever the appropriate thing is for the area. Towels here. Which way does the door open? So there's the hinges. So the, the door opens that way. Um, I'll put the towels here to serve both. And of course, toilet paper. Okay, bathroom accessories. As always, towels. And a trash bin. The Nickelodeon Suites. Oh man, that takes my brain back. Like, it never got to stay there. But, um, when we would visit, like, the touristy areas out here, we would go past that place. Sadly, it's long gone. We'll pretend those are centered because I'm not going to fight with that. Yeah, our decorations. Two coffee cups with sauce saucers. That lavender color on that one vase looks like nice at the teal? Yeah, let's check. Looks like we got some more stuff we can put in here now. That's an interesting... I don't think of a giant mason jar, but that's an interesting mason jar thing. What was that? Oh, jeez. Um, hang on. There's no fish. But that actually would really work in the color scheme of the room. Just like right here, it's not actually a separate room, you have to go in through the bathroom. Man, why are you so big? Where are we going to put you? Okay. New plan. You stay. You're finding a new... No, no, I don't need more of those. You're getting a new home. Put in the bathroom next to the tub? Electricity is out. I think I saw the fuse box in the basement. One moment. <laughs> that bathtub needs to move. Um... Toilet below the window. The only thing that's upsetting is I have a fish tank, but there's no fish in it. I was not anticipating having a giant fish tank, for the record.
Okay, let's run back down and fix our power. I wish there was a faster way than this elevator, by the way. And I think the reason they make you do the elevator is it's actually, this is, it's not a loading loading screen, but they're switching where the texture, like you see how the textures are loading in? That's what I think happens. They have the elevator as a way of slowing you down just a little bit. Where is the fuse box? Okay. Well, that's no problem, Chris. Chris asking. How did the elevator work with that power? Well, it was, it was quite easy. It was through the power of friendship. Um, let's see. It's a shame you can't put stuff on the windowsill. No, that's where the door opens. Never mind, I'm not gonna put that there. Good enough for me. All right, let's see if we got some nuts. And then we need hanging walls or hanging lights. And then ceiling lights. I kind of wish we had more options for lights. I really wish I'd taken the time to clean that ceiling up before I did all that. Okay, so now I need to add stuff that they want. Party. That took a little too green. Yeah, I noticed that as well. I was thinking the same thing. It's like, do I want to deal with this? Like... Can I not change them now? That's fine. All right, so let's see. That's better. You know, it's not a requirement. Um... I would like to get lights in here real fast.
I was gonna leave the one. Okay, so now back to this. They want party balloons. Please tell me I can. Excellent. I mean, sometimes you party a little too hard. I was say. The bachelorette party is not going to have the balloons that say love on it. Um, I'm not going to say what kind of balloons they probably would have. But, you know. Oh man, I might have to go with the heart balloons. So those are like Valentine's Day balloons. They don't really have good balloons, are they like... Is there anything that had... No, there's no options to them. Well, I hate to tell them they're going to have a lame bachelor party when it comes to the balloon choice, but I think that's just what it's going to be, so... We'll just pretend the, uh... The bachelorette is, like, really... Yeah, they aren't safe. <laughs> they aren't safe is what they are. But, um... I think in this case, we're just gonna go with, like, putting a balloon arch or something over the door. Even though, like, the color's completely wrong. Oh, that's only gonna count as one. I need four. Hang on, we're not gonna do that. We're just going to, like... We'll just pretend that the Bachelorette in this one is, like, really into, like, gold balloons. mini fridge <laughs> we've already done that gag earlier we didn't actually make it but you know So you want neon decorations. Those are under the light. Those were decorations. Oh no, it's this style decoration. Meanwhile, I can... Oh, I can't switch tools on here. Yeah, like I said, this is definitely acting as like a loading screen for the top and bottom floor. It wants us to find the missing wallet. Which was super easy the last time because there was not many surfaces for it to be on. One six and one nine balloon. I mean, you're, that's actually not a terrible idea. Yeah, last time it was right there.
booking floor one um how do i book how do how do i how do i book You have to be in the room to finish booking. I see. Well, let's find this wallet real fast. That room doesn't exist. Don't look directly at it. Let your broom make anything float? That's an idea. Um, I wonder if it's making it float as well. Like, whatever surface it's laying on. Um, do you want to talk about it, my dude? Why- why is the wallet there? Why- why did you put your wallet inside my lamp on top of the light bulb? Do you want it to catch fire? Oh, right, I have to go through here first. I think that's... I think... I think this is the one you go with. To advertise this room. New tools, unlock the hack... Um... That's a batch the rep party. Thanks for making a room really special. I had an amazing time here. I figured I found the perfect place for our wedding party. I'm so excited. I mean, easy entertainment. That's what I'm saying. It's like, I mean, I know a few ways that could potentially work. I keep wanting to click on that, and you have to hit F. You don't see an entertainer with that kind of facial hair very often. All right. Now I can check our tablet, go to our skills. Give me the hammer, it costs basically nothing. Give me the vacuum cleaner. You can clean bigger areas faster. You hit the gym. No, oh, you better hit the gym if you want to swing this beauty. Yeah, it's powerful that can clear an entire wall or floor with just one hit. Yes. Use a hammer, you must choose removal tool and hit Q or E. So yeah, so you switch tools with Q and E. Use the vacuum, Q and E. Okay, so. Whoa, look at that! We received an order to organize a wedding party. Great opportunity to oh, get us um, Excuse me. What's the range on this thing? That is... I understand. Uh, prepare to book room 102 for a young couple. Prepare to book room 104 for Uncle Joe. Prepare to book room 106 for the friends of the groom. Prepare the restaurant for the wedding party. Um... What? Okay. This is a room for a young couple. Let's make it romantic and cozy. 
some candles and a heart symbol will be a nice touch. Yeah, break everything. I got scared when the door highlight highlight as well. I was like, wait, did I just mess up? Thinking like house flipper when you actually like sledgehammer something and go, well. That's gone. This is way faster. It also kills my frame rate way more than ever before. What did I miss in here? Oh, it's probably lights. Excellent. Now I get to use this. Oh, I can just... Um, okay. I saw a wall I missed. That's weird, I couldn't select it. Cool. Um, so yeah, all this goes way faster with those tools. You need rose petals on the bed? Absolutely. Alright, so, step one. Um, I feel like for... Let's see what we can do for the, um... That's the floor. Let's see about our walls. Wall graphics. Is there a wall graphic that screams Romantic AF? Ah, the bananas. Absolutely bananas. Or the cats. Definitely the cats. Or, or Halloween just in general. Like, a Halloween hell scene. <laughs> If we ever make a kid's room, that's the wallpaper. It's settled. There's no question about it. Potatoes and chicken wings. Or the dinosaurs. Man, kids get all the cool stuff. Yeah, so there's nothing... Like, about about the closest I can find is if maybe get that like to be red. Of course, red might make it look like it's just on fire. Eh, not feeling that one. Wall patterns. Yeah, those flowers, like, those are roses, but it doesn't feel romantic. There's a roses one to the right. Under scenes. Oh. I wanted to make it. I 
I don't know, this is not scraped. Like, I get the roses, and roses have that whole thing. But this particular depiction of roses. I don't know. Yeah, no, I got, I like the idea. So it's like that one. That's the thing I'm running into is I don't have a lot of ways. So we, we can just do this like an accent wall thing. Hmm. We do like an accent wall there. Do we leave the rest of the room kind of like fairly tame color then? Like do a very light red? No. Now, darker red makes the mood feeling, makes mood lighting more effective. Looks like someone's having a party in one of our rooms. They're being far too loud. Several guests complained already. Go find those party animals and quiet them down. Thank you, Donkey Duff, for gifting a sub to Canred. Looks like someone's having a party in one of our rooms. They're being far too loud. Thank you, Donkey Duff, for gifting those two subs already. to the channel. I really do appreciate that. So, Conrad and Chesty, there Thank it you goes. Thank you, Donkey Duff, for gifting a sub to Chester LaRue. So, both Conrad and Chesty LaRue, you now have yourself some nice advertisement for viewing, as well as access to the emote. So, thank you again, Donkey Duff, for the continued support of the channel. It really does mean a lot. So, thank you. All right. So, if we're going with that route, do we go with just... Ruby, Ruby. The bedroom will be all Ruby. Ruby all over the bedroom. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, this one doesn't really have a separation. So Ruby for the whole place. Everything is Ruby. Except the bathroom. And see, having that small wall being um, lighter to highlight if you plan to place decor. They're saying that make make that wall. I think we leave it dark, Ruby. No? Yeah, we can do that. We'll mess with it. We'll try to put decor up there. Alright, before we forget... And now I need to do the floor. That's going to be the tricky part. The red ceiling is a bit much. It's fine. There isn't a single floor here that's screaming romantic. <laughs> you know what? We'll do it. It won't work out here. I 
I mean, he flashed into my bedroom in the two houses as a teenager before my parents repainted it. So we're going with this because it's kind of a, um, it's like a red wood. I think that'll work. All right, so we need to do the walls. That's considered a wood panel. All right. Yep, no, I gotcha. Uh, Kara saying, the flooring should be carpet where you're putting the actual bed. You know why. Mm-hmm. We'll, uh, we'll make that work by putting a rug underneath it to make it make sense. More orange than red, but I'm gonna go with it because I don't know what the heck do I do with the bathroom. Oh, it lags so bad when you place all the walls at once. Um, so I need to do the ceiling still, so paint. Actually, I forgot I can do this. I can put the bricks down for texture and then paint them. Isn't there a matching tile that goes to the floor? I could do that too. Not the right color, that's got speckles of green in it. Oh, I see. One second. Well, that's interesting. So I can do it either or. Wait, where'd you come from? Hang on, get out of here. I might just leave it like that. Not the most exciting wall, but you know, it is what it is. It's at least a done wall. Um, and then we can go here, I have to paint the ceiling. Vlad's jealous of this room. All right, so now to get the furniture in here, we can put a bed in real fast. And meanwhile, I'm going to snack for a moment. That flower pattern might work. You see an unusual complaint. Something's broken. Oh, there we go. Roses. Is there one that just looks like roses are supposed to look? That works. I'll be right back, room. Um, room 107, this way.
Yeah, so Chicken just randomly shows up and breaks stuff, apparently. Chicken's a big old jerk. Alright, and once again, get the same requirements as always. So we need some small nightstands to make this work. Okay. Let's see what we got for tables. There's a room for two, so I don't need the giant table like we need the other ones. That's fine. So I need chairs. And... make them a little bit brighter. It's fine. It's not actually a good position for that, but this room's pretty small. There's really not much to work with here, is there? Um, really leaning in with these reds. Okay, that one's a bit wider. That's probably good for fitting two people on. That's just my thought is get a get a uh, sofa that like or a chair we could get two people to squeeze in on. That'll work. Even though it's like right next to a full on couch. Well it's a little bit. Man, none of these color I mean that's about as close we're getting, I think. Just don't look straight at it. It doesn't really match, which is deeply upsetting. But that's just the nature of these style games sometimes. And always, there's a cubby right at the front door. Work for whatever you need. That's not the type of cupboard I should be using for that, but it's already there. I don't know. I'm not super excited about those shelves, but we've used most of the other shelves I like more enough times. Okay, there was one of the baths that was like, this bath is huge. Which is perfect. You know why. Oh, I should put on this wall, not that wall. You know what, I'm doing all of these ones we're putting the shower into. We're supposed to put two of these in here, which is going to be a bit snug.
Let's get the one with the towel first. Actually, I'm not going to be able to fit the one with the towel I usually put in. There is not much room in this place. We'll go with it this way. Um, choose the same wood. That's not exactly what I wanted. Why is that not changing the color in any way? Not super excited about that, but it's fine. Yeah, so the big old towel rack up there. Toilet paper. Towels for your hands. You always need a trash can. Oh, yay. Give them a toilet brush. I mean, it's not actually bad to have a toilet brush. But it's like, yes. Leave them a toilet brush. And some soap. Oh, no. Electricity is out. I think I saw the fuse box in the basement. Where's the bunch of candles? All right, we got books. That's clearly a romantic getaway is a whole bunch of books. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for is the bunch of candles. This is safe. This is absolutely something you should do. Open flames on your wood shelves. Directly below other ones. Sadly, I can't adjust the camera higher. That's fine. Um, alright, well, let's go deal with the fuse box we can't see in the bathroom right now. I don't want to stay at a hotel that it's like a daily occurrence that the fuse box blows and the whole hotel loses power. That sounds like a thing that shouldn't happen. It also still weirds me out at the uh, the idea that I have a vampire sleeping in my basement. And not like in a coffin, just sleeping in the trunk that used to have my grandpa's stuff. Hi. Hi. Okay, add plants. Oh, we'll do with that anyway. We gotta do this.
I don't think we put the neon heart over the bed. That doesn't actually scream romantic to me. Surprised there isn't any, any like pictures of like a couple or anything. Oh, like there's really not many of these that are standing out. You know what? We're gonna put the heart. It's fine. Uh, we'll put the heart. We'll put it. Put it right center wall there. Alright, let's add a shelf to the bathroom real fast. I'll put some flowers in here. Which will clearly do well because, you know, there's no natural light in this room at all. But definitely tells me they'll do fine. Meanwhile, where is an art candle? I can put an art candle right here. Candle this whole place up. This hotel would be burned down by the time we get down. There's so many candles in this place. You cannot trust a bunch of guests like running around with like a dozen candles in their room. It would just not end bad. Like it would just not end well. Where's those candles? Come on, candles. Probably we're gonna get like full on statues later. It's right after the books. I just clicked off that. I hope it doesn't put me back at the beginning of where we were. Okay, it didn't. Um. Were you the creepy guy from the thumbnail? I have... What? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, are you the creepy guy from the thumbnail? Like, you mean my character in the game? I actually don't know who our character in the game is. Wait, really? I wonder who that was in the Stranger Danger. I think Stranger Danger. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Really, not much options for wall lights, which is a lot of problems. So I keep reusing the ones we've got because there's just not much. That. Comforter does not look nearly as romantic when we actually have good light. I guess we'll put light in here and that's what we'll do. And... Light in the bathroom. 
And before I forget, because I realize I forgot this for a couple of rooms now. Um, not that one. Oh, I think, was it, was it here under decorations? It wasn't there. Oh, no, it's its own category. Stickers. There. And there. <laughs> oh my god, no. We, we did that in the first one, and now it's just been a reoccurring theme. Three guys booked this space. I'm sure they like to party. We could use those neon signs for the walls. There we go. There, I've corrected the rooms. No oh, prick. Okay. Um. So. Not, not now. Wasn't there party balloons in here? No. It's fine. It end up tipping over anyways as well. We uh we joked about that earlier. We didn't follow through, but we did joke about it earlier. I don't think that actually counts as a light. Oh, that's like some That's a phasma or not that's um Wait. You're a pretty terrible balloon. Sure, good enough. Oh, <laughs> it's like clearly you want to see the bathroom. Might be. Alright, chat, give me one more, I'll be right back. They love it! You're the best!
Okay, sorry about that. Uh, um, being a balloon is hard work. But, um, yeah, sorry. I ran downstairs, we're like, does something smell like burning? And so we're, like, scrambling around to see if there's, like, anything that's a problem downstairs. I think it was just something, um, like, something, like, fell in, like, the bottom of the oven previously. And it was got kind of, kind of toasted down there. Because it didn't seem to be coming from anywhere specific, so. It's just one of those things that were like, uh, is everything cool? Alright. Let's see. I feel like we should maybe at least clear the hallway. No, no, no. We have to... It keeps telling me to do things. Um, game time, approach the chicken. Why are you making me play Dice of the Chicken again? Chicken is demolishing me this time. Then the chicken is just one. Last time I made, yeah, it makes me play five rounds. Use the hammer on the chicken. But the chicken won. She bit me this time? Well, that's just mean. So what the heck was I doing? Okay, so we finished that room, and then we booked it. So now I need to go to room 104. For Uncle Joe. Old Uncle Joe will sleep here. How about a conservative classic space? Maybe something from the Deco collection? Smash it all. I mean, to be honest, when it comes to the stuff we've done, other than shelving, which has been mostly modern because there's not really that many options, um, we've been using like wood for most of our stuff. Other than like we did the we did the one where it's like the granite walls and all that. Did your heater just turn to wood? It turned into debris. Sledgehammer makes this so much nicer. Alright, so there's some stuff. It's probably the lights again. Cool. Alright, so now we use the superpower of.
It's a vacuum cleaner. Isn't that how you vacuum your floors? You're not doing it the slow way, right? Okay, so wants Art Deco Furniture and Shades of Mauve Pink. You're assuming I know what Mauve Pink is going to look like. This room is huge. How much are you charging for it? Um, they're like a couple hundred bucks, a, like a hundred some bucks a day. So, alright, um, these don't say like Mauve here, do they? Alright. So I have to figure out what the heck mauve pink looks like. Mauve is not quite pastel. It's also notoriously ugly. Excellent. They need a search function. Pale purple color. That's monochromatic. Dirty. I'm pretty sure I've looked through all of these color wheels and I don't see a mauve pink. Premium? Yeah, but how am I supposed to know it's mauve pink? So let me let me go ahead and do a two second search. Mauve pink. I hate that I'm getting like a dozen different colors. If we look at what I'm finding, when it does search for mauve pink. I've got something that's much closer to pink, something that's closer to a darker purple, something that's just like straight up like a muted purple. Like, it can't be all of these colors. Don't search for both. So just search for mauve. That, uh, that gave me an even wider range of colors. <laughs> Alright.
So would we say something like... I don't know. Okay, go for the pastel. So... Something like... Lisran purple? Or bittersweet shimmer? One of these two? What what do you what do you think would qualify as mauve? Is it filling? I can't tell. I do not believe it is filling. All right, well, I'm going to go deal with the, um, the issue in room 102. Hi. I like how she always tells me, like, go down and turn the valve, go down to this. I'm like, why don't, like, you're standing right next to it. Why why am I stopping my renovation work when you're standing right next to it? Like all you got to do is run down here and No, it's supposedly there's a cracked water pipe. And we fix it by apparently just turning off the water. All right. What? What am I hearing? Uh, did you like Narco? Um, it ended up being one of those things that was hitting really heavy. I'm like, this isn't a good fit for the channel. So we end up uh, ducking out. It seemed gorgeous. Like, it really did. But, um, for a channel that we try and, like, give people a place to escape from anxiety, find good headspace and all that, it hit hard. It hit real hard. <laughs> and I'm like, um... Yeah, it's gonna keep burning money repainting the wall. Wait, is it going up? I think it's going up with this one. I see the tiniest little thing. No, I think it's going down. Maybe it's no, it can't be. <sighs> Which color is the color I need, game? Norco, it's um it was a game we played earlier. Yeah, I think it's I think it's taking this color. Yeah, it's a point and click adventure, but like it uh it hits hard. Like, you start the game and it's you know, very first question is like you know, you need to get out of the city. 
uh, your brother is like, you know, I'm not gonna be able to make it without you kind of thing. And you're like, he'll get over it. And the very next thing is like, he didn't get over it. I'm like, oh, I see. Well, at least I have closure on how that turned out. Uncle Joe, you know, good on you being like, really into like different guys. Like, Uncle Joe's like, yeah, everyone thinks I'm like tough guy, but you know, I just, just like the mauve pink, man. It's just a nice color. And everyone's like, you know, that's cool, but like, that's actually a terrible color. Um, I actually, I think you're, I think you're a female character, if I remember correctly. I know I asked that at the end, I was like, wait a second, are we, like, it doesn't matter, but like, I was going to, you know, use the pronouns, I'm like, wait, I actually don't know what pronouns I'm supposed to be using here. Yeah, but, um, the problem is, Uncle Joe demands more. I haven't, I haven't satiated Uncle Joe's mauve pink meter. Like, little, like, generally, like, above me, over there, there, there's a gauge that's filling up as I'm painting everything pink and making everything mauve pink. So we're custom making this room. It's, I have to keep making everything this color until Joe is like, there. That is how much mauve pink I want. I am satisfied with the amount of mauve pink you have provided me. Uncle Joe has a fever that only mauve pink can cure. Joe, you owe us 20,000. All right, so now I need to do flooring. So I'm going to have to find flooring that we can consider mauve pink. Nothing there. I wish I had some lights around so I could see. Maybe? Can't tell if that's going up or not. Okay, so lights come back on. Oh, I see. So carpets. Just gonna go for a simple carpet. We're looking for something that could be passed as mauve pink. Maybe that? It's almost a peach. Alright, that does not appear to be making that go up, so... Oh, there you go. That just jumped us a whole heckin' lot.
I think that was it that did it. Yeah, I wish, I wish the game would be like generally instead of moi pink, it'd say like pink and just stop there. Or, I'm gonna clean room 102. I'm I'm sorry, ma'am. Very mob crime, yeah. All right. Um. So I'm missing. Oh, I'm missing flooring over here. I can't. Can't tell. Like, was that... Alright, we're gonna test something. It cost me money. But if we smash these floors, mob pink should go down. Okay, so that is the correct color. I was being paranoid because I wasn't watching it go up, and I'm like, but... But... But it did, it did go down when I destroyed those floors. Okay. Yeah, when these people say, I want my room to be this color, they mean all of it. <laughs> is the bathroom the right color? That is a good question. So I can test this by going. It did not lose any, so I'm guessing the answer is no. You know what I'm doing, chat? Uncle Joe's the worst. Uncle Joe gets a carpeted bathroom. I know, I know, I know. It's it's literally a crime. Bathroom's gonna be so disgusting. What do you think this is, Rimworld? Uncle Joe, you get a tiny bed. Oh no, probably we won't. We'll want to have a bigger bed later. All right. So what qualifies as mauve pink here? I hate this room. Assuming this one. There's an. None of these scream wild pink to me. Um, I have no idea if that's helping or not. Yeah, I need to put lights in here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make this mauve pink. That tannish pink is probably our closest. That. Alright. This needs to happen. Um, we will put... It's just had like a bubble gum. That's probably close to... I need to do this anyways. So we'll do it now. Ah. 
All right. So back to what I should be doing furniture wise. Most of the furniture I'm probably not going to be able to make pink. Not really. Not not wow pink. It is supposed to be conservative. Oh, I forgot. There's a symbol. Okay. This bed needs to go. The reason the bed needs to go is I'm supposed to use a certain art style or a certain aesthetic style. Um, that aesthetic. That one works. Okay, so this is this is the bed that qualifies as the correct style for Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe is a very particular person, apparently. Um, needs things that are like conservative and mauve pink. That might be our closest. <laughs> it's Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe deserves a small bed. Uncle Joe notes Uncle Joe's done. It was going to be true conservative. It would need to be twin beds. Uh, two twin beds. A couple feet apart. Well, it's Uncle Joe by himself. Let's be real. Yeah, we'll uh we'll go ahead and put a um. We'll rain it in at that point, because <laughs> otherwise that's gonna that's gonna escalate someplace we don't want to go. You don't get to have nice things, Uncle Joe. You're making me have to figure out what the heck this color is, and. Feel completely confused as to whether or not we have a problem. Our elevator's jammed. What do we do? Up fixed. That's how you fix an elevator. You just walk up to the door with a crowbar and you hit it a whole bunch. And then magically it's better. Oh, this room is horrible. Welcome to the, plink, the pink flamingo. My goodness. Uncle Joe, you are a complicated person, my friend. Man, welcome to the Champagne Lounge. My goodness. Even the Champagne Lounge is like, calm down. Oh, I hate all these tables. Ah, you suck, Uncle Joe. Is his uncle my name uncle Joe, I have a nah, I have an uncle named Joe and he is my favorite uncle. So the idea of being of him being in this room is hilarious. He would hate it. 
I, I would walk in this room and be like, I'm glad I'm not spending most of my trip in here. <laughs> Apparently those are my only two choices. This, this place is so terrible, I hate it. Oh good, can I make you... Something attempting to be mauve pink. Or I have a deflated lover's balloon since <laughs> this. Man, this bathroom, like, bathroom's almost as big as the rest of the place. Oh, I didn't check. Um, I don't think this is the right style. Oh, okay. So the bathtubs don't have a style, nor does this. Okay, excellent. So I don't have to worry about it. It seems to go up in chunks. Like, it doesn't go, like, each tick. It goes up, you know, like, 25% of the time kind of thing. Which is a little annoying. Here, Uncle Joe, you get two towel racks. Um, good enough for me. It's Uncle Joe's rooms. I don't really care. Is the wall, is the wall pale purple? Is this the right color for the furniture? I have no idea. Like there's, there's not really an equivalent to it on the furniture. That's the problem I'm running into. If I look at the furniture colors, I have the option of. There's just not a thing. This feels like the sort of room that neon light ever- Oh, we have to decorate the walls yet. Don't worry, there's still time for those decorations. Um. Here, Uncle Joe, you know what you get? You get one. And two toilet brushes. That's- that's a decoration your bathroom's getting, alright buddy? It says a conservative room. I can't look at this room and call it a conservative Like, this amount of pink and stuff happening, I cannot call a conservative room. This is screamingly loud room.
or scales. There you go, Uncle Joe. Perfect for you, buddy. No bidet? Um, I don't think that I've seen that they, they haven't had a bidet yet. Here, and you get a pink flamingo on the other side. I don't think we had a truly pink plant. Ah, uh, there's that. Apparently that was enough to push it over the edge. Okay. Um, but first, there's something very important we need to do. Where is it? It is where in here? No, it's its own category here somewhere. wasn't wall decorations it was stickers where were stickers there we go there we go oh right 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 I need to actually it's Uncle Joe Uncle Joe deserves this Humble beginnings. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I can't back out of this room. One second. We forgot something important. Stop. Stop. I mean, Uncle Joe apparently paid us pretty well, so... Sure. Um, I forgot the important thing. Your Uncle Joe? I apologize. I have misread this entire situation. Yep, that works perfectly. Was it under party? Okay, I think it was under party. If you're going to be in the champagne lounge room, you're having champagne. Alright, let's go down here and prepare the restaurant, because I want to break from those rooms. What? Where did... Where did... Where did... Oh, I saw that menu up. Maybe Uncle Joe? Yeah, I've, um... I've known people who have the name Joe, like the nickname Joe, who are misses. Looks like this restaurant used to be an Irish pub style restaurant. And it's just going by the style of booze and all that kind of stuff.
Yeah, trash that frame rate. This has been like a really fun game. So when I first saw the game, I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, there's so many games that you see that look like House Flipper, and then they're really rubbish. Like, House Flipper's good. But there's so many who, like, tried to copy it. Um, and it, to me, when I first looked at the game, I was like, oh, no, it's gonna be another one of those. Um, and I heard another content creator talking about that they were excited to try it that actually looked pretty good. And I was like, wait, really? And, you know, and that's when I actually gave it a proper look. I'm like, oh, wait, never mind. This actually looks like it's pretty decently made. Oh, this is this is the restaurant. This isn't the um, a hotel room. This is the restaurant. Yes, yeah, I'm clean to do. I don't want to clean. Yeah, no, they call it a restaurant, but it's clearly a restaurant that has a bar. Hey, Prig Move, how's it going? Pretty good. All right, Oshiak, you have a good one. All right, clean all this up. We get a couple more things of junk laying around. Your time is moving too fast? Um, it's moving at... Is this basically House Flipper? It has a lot in common with House Flipper, but you also are managing a hotel, so you have, like, unruly guests and that kind of stuff. It is a little over the top that, like, the frequency your power goes out and everything is a bit much, but it's fine. All right. Do we go for wood floors back here? Oh yeah, I can show you some of the rooms we've done actually. Let's let's give everyone a tour. Let's show everyone the rooms we've done so far. Uh don't mind, I haven't actually worked in the hallway yet. Uh it takes a moment to load in sometimes. So this would be Vlad is this Vlad's room? Yeah, so this is Vlad's room. Um Vlad is a vampire. Uh Vlad demanded that the room be black and red. And wanted lots of candles and that kind of thing. So this is Vlad's room. You know, nice nice red and black absolutely everywhere over the top. Um, really is kind of an eyesore. But, you know, it's cool. Um, has It's the only TV in that we have in the entire place, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, don't worry about the situation at the bed. Um, got some nice art and all that. It's a nice room. Oh, and he also demanded that I have curtains because Vlad is not a fan of sunlight. Um, that is not actually Vlad. That is apparently someone else staying in Vlad's room. Uh, and this is Uncle Joe's room. Uh, Uncle Joe demanded that we make the room pink. Um, and would not be satisfied until I went all in on the pink. Uh, so, Uncle Joe's room is 
is very pink. Uncle Joe's room is openly upsetting. Uncle Joe should have curtains, but Uncle Joe doesn't get curtains. Uncle Joe knows why. Um, what was the story behind this room? I think this, was this the first room we did? Which ended up just, like, this is the first room we did just because, and it just ended up being kind of the same thing. Um, this is our, like, couple's romantic room. So it's very, it's very ruby, it's got a nice, nice style to it. There's balloons that sit on the floor around here, and candy. Why does your hotel have bed drafts? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I may have put a sticker. That room hasn't been done yet. That room hasn't been done yet. That room hasn't been done yet. Oh, and this was the, uh, the Bachelorette party room. So, you know. That's a giant aquarium in the bathroom with no fish. Um, I didn't have, like, the appropriate balloons for Bachelorette party. So, we just pretend the Bachelorette really liked gold. Looking very themed honeymoon sweets. I can see that. Yeah, and the rest of these ones haven't been done yet. <laughs> now it was, um, we found stickers, and I was messing around with them. And it was, it was the first room, so it'd be this room. I was messing around with the stickers, and I saw the giraffe. And the giraffe made me think of Let's Game It Out. Um, and, you know, things happened. You know how that goes. I I hope Let's Game It Out gets a video like gets this and does a video. I don't know what it would do, but I'm sure it'd be a good time. Oh, we can actually improve this. Thanks. Now I need to read Wait, what? Oh, I can choose the style. Okay. Um, so this would work with our style. This one would be okay. That one does not feel like it works with it. I'm thinking this one. I don't... I don't get what's happening. There it is. Interesting. Alright, so unfortunately this does mean not that one. It changed the shape of my desk. Which is just enough now. I gotta fix my floor. There we go. What happens when someone leaves? Uh, I would assume I get a new person. So far, I don't think people have ever left, though. I think it just basically gives you money every single day based on the room. Um, and it just kind of, like, happens. Okay. All oh, right, we were working on the restaurant. Hi, friend. Yeah, so I think it's, like, literally people just come and go and you just always... It's like you always have a tenant. Okay. So now we gotta decide what we're doing for our bar. We could certainly go for some kind of wood floor. Yeah, I think more of the antique floor style if we go for a wood floor. Yeah, I think I think we will. Let's let's go like that bar to me screams, well, no, I mean, 
I don't know what's like gonna look. Oh wait, we can probably change what it looks like when we fix it up. So it's kind of a bummer I can't get a look at what it will look like when it's fixed. Crack pipe in one of the rooms. All right. We have 103. Since I already know it's going to do that in the future, can I just go and close the pipe? I'd like to clean up this. Oh, and I also have someone who's living in that box. Don't worry about it. I made the room for the vampire, and he was like, sleeping in the box is nicer. So he's still paying for the room, but, you know, not actually being in the room. Okay, so that's the guy who's there banging. He's the repairman. Um, so now I need to go to 10. No, wait, we weren't working that one. There's too much happening. I like how you can imagine you show up at this place. The hallway is destroyed. So why have you had? Oh, hi there at the top of your screen. That's because that is that been there since starting. Yeah, that's the name of our hotel. Is oh hi there winky face. We decided that after the drafts. For the record. Oh, I don't actually have access to those. I have wooden strips. Well, I was kind of actually hoping for the antique floors of this place. Um, wooden strips would be okay. White wood floors. That is pretty horrible to look at. That include behind the bar? Cool. It apparently takes a good minute for it to update. Misuse right affected everyone's judgment? Absolutely. Oh, I've got the windows. It does make me curious of, like, what, what theming people are going to do for... Because you could do entirely different stuff. Because the bar, I don't have any restrictions. I can do what I want with it. <laughs> there won't be a real weird bar with that one. The, the Halloween Nightmare Wall? A reef, woods, urban walls, space, trees, water, mountains, butterflies, chicken and potatoes, Nemo and friends, dinosaurs. That's actually a cool one. Oh, those ones are all locked. I don't have access to those. I don't think we do any of those wall prints. Wall patterns. The wall patterns... Most of the wall patterns make me think of like the really terrible wallpaper that used to be super popular back in the day.
Do we just go straight up for the brick look? Like, really lean into the Irish pub? Red brick walls, wood floor, wrought iron or brass lights. Or you go like new age and like marble wall the whole thing. I do like the stone. Well, that's interesting. Like, actually have it kind of scuffed up a little bit. I like that. It might be what I do. I think we'll, I think we'll do the scuffed up stone. I just like that there's cobwebs I can't get rid of there. Um, there's a box at per reception for me. You have no idea who it's from. Pick up the photo. Um. Is that the singer? That we, um. Earlier. Hey, is that Grandpa in this photo? I wonder who the singer is. She looks stunning. This okay. It's all very mysterious, don't you think? But yeah, we had um earlier this room was also like horrible and gross. Um and we had a rock star who came and said, "Hey, I want to do a music video of you destroying this room." Um so like, you know, set up a camera and everything for us while we annihilated the room. Um, and we did that for like two, three minutes. We broke out as much as we could, and then she threw dynamite in the room and it cleared off the entire rest of the room. Like when she kicked the dynamite in the air, I'm like, wait a second, hang on. Let's talk about this. This doesn't seem like the direction we should go with this. It's kind of a bummer that it seems like I can only paint the ceiling. Like, so far, I haven't been able to use any any flooring materials, for example, on there. Um, and I haven't been able to go and say, like, put wall stuff on there, or ceramic on there, or wall patterns on there. I'm seeing if any of these work, by the way. Yeah, it looks like it's literally just, just paint. Graphite black might be a bit rough. I do feel like it should be dark, though. We'll do it. Mouse won't move. We're, we're, we're frozen until it finishes figuring out where it's putting all the paint. We actually might be crashing. I hope this game saves often. Okay, so there isn't an actual save thing. So what's interesting is that's definitely painting more room than we saw. It's painting all the way out there. So there is, like, a gap back here that's counting as part of this room. I did see I missed a spot back there. I'll go and get it.
Okay, so it's definitely not the Irish pub style anymore. We've we've definitely moved past that. This is our restaurant slash bar. Okay. So I need to have two of these. Can I make something that would pass as, like, a reception desk? Does that look okay? No, it looks terrible. This part on the left looks fine. This on the right, this this is gone. Eh, not feeling it. I do like the idea of making like a reception thing, but I need something that would be better suited for this decor. Ah, it's not like you're gonna have any good choices. That's fine. So put it... Right there. That's where you walk in. Verb's like, how many? And you get it all figured out. Um, we'll just use the other one for like some type of other storage. I do feel like this is going to cause me to go back into size places later and redecorate them. Just because I have stuff I like more. Is there a door in the back? No, it's just one way in, one way out. Okay. It's fine. We won't play with it. It qualifies. Alright. So now I need tables. I need six. That's one, two, three, four, five. All right. So first of all, I put too many over here. Realistically, have them fit in the first place. Here are two of those. Shift you over to be roughly the same. We have to adjust it all. Right this way. Here about there. Okay, so we got our tables. Um, I need a hecking lot of chairs. That doesn't look good. Um Looks like someone's having a party in one of our rooms. They're being far too loud. Several guests complained already. 
Go find those party animals and quiet them down. I'll deal with that in just a moment. Just gonna get all the chairs in place. I'm actually not sure what the style of this restaurant bar is. I... It's just kind of dark. It's just one piece of furniture is this color, so I'm like, alright, well, we'll just keep going with it. Our hotel is just burning money. Like, I'm getting more people and I'm getting paid and I'm not, like, losing it in bills. It's just, every time I build a new room, it's costing me, like, $30,000, $20,000 or something like that. Okay. Alright. They just have room 106 or 104? Yeah, 106. I'm really enjoying this game. I'm not enjoying that this one piece of trash keeps reappearing here in the corner. And that sometimes I have to exit the room and re-enter the room to get it to load right. There we go. That's okay. So I'm envisioning these are about... Oh, no. The super shiny is not cool with me. So I'm envisioning the point of these couches not on the front here is. Like, you're not ready or waiting for your party, or there's not enough seating available, whatever. Just give you a... Like, no, we shouldn't, we shouldn't do... Apparently, oh, I don't have enough choice to do something I think is better. I would say you'd probably not want, like, really elaborate, nice couch, couches up here because people are going to do all sorts of stuff and destroy them. That, that's fine. We just... Yeah, so we want to find something that matches the aesthetics. It's like a dark gray or whatever. Not looking like it, though. That'll have to do. Only one table required in the whole place. Interesting. I wish there was a taller table, so you could put it right here as like you know the thing you'd put your met like that have the menu sitting on. Actually, that might work. Like the thing that you'd have the menu sitting on, kind of thing. That that'll have to do. Um. All right. So we need a couple of these. Only two of these. I'm gonna have more. Let's see. Let's see what the tallest looking one, like the most. This is gonna be a standing one. Um. All right. New plan. You're gone. And we're gonna get you a new table. Something high enough that a chair would make sense. Pointing towards the window, I think.
I didn't have too many taller ones. Not the best I saw. Trying to look for like the most minimal chair we can find. I mean, there's these ones again. But they left for a few hours. Um, and you're back. You were tearing down a mess, and I come back to such pretty. Hope you're enjoying the game. I am having a good time with the game. Yeah, we're just gonna go with this. These are not well suited for this, but it's fine. We have to do a lot of that where it's like, this isn't really a good choice. But, at least a choice. Okay, so I've got a couple places where, you know, you want to sit with your buddy, have a drink, look out the fountain, and people watch. You got you got those seats available. Um, you also have, like, proper dining seats and all that. And the trash that keeps respawning in the corner, just pretend it's not there. Um, Alright, I need... Is that telling me I need carpet? That can't... That can't be right. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. It's basically telling me I need a rug. Alright. I was like, don't make me carpet my restaurant. Don't do that. Alright. Looking for a good pattern for the entrance here. I do think I actually want to keep that. The, um, grayscale. Debating between the zigzags, the flowers, and whatever. I think I'm going to go with this one. All right, now I need curtains. They're not big enough to cover. That's narrow blinds, short narrow blinds. I want those, but not narrow. Ooh, there's like no way I can make them fit. They're either like super narrow and they don't make sense. So I feel like I'm kind of forced to do just this style blind. Which I'm not against, it's just... Why give me the choice if you're going to make it so only a couple ones work? You see an unusual complaint. The uh the complaints are a little bit much. They get it something to um to keep you doing stuff, but they are pretty frequent. Let's change that. shift all of those back which is not going to happen um all right so you have what design
Where are you? There it is. And then we took it, we switched to you. Oh, for the record, when I go upstairs, it's still a dump. But parts of it aren't a dump anymore. Okay, so what I need to do is those ones are fine, but these tables, um, I'm not gonna like fully fix them, but I'm gonna just Scosh these little chairs right up. They're gonna get really buddy buddy with their neighbor. I just don't want to clipping through the curtains because it bothers me, even though it has no negative effect in the actual gameplay to my knowledge. Cool. Alright. Prepare the restaurant for the wedding. Okay, I'm gonna keep going on this and just not worry about the pipes. Because it's just been a thing I have to do again and again. So I've got that. I know a good place for it, though. I think I'm just going to literally shove it back here, and we're just going to pretend it makes sense. What's in the cupboard roll? No one will ever know. And then we have our decorations. Just boot on the middle of every table. Excellent. It's a nice little diffused light for each table. Smaller lights for the smaller tables. Um, so I still need three more decorations. Let's see if we can't find... So first is like... Cleaning all that would be a pain in real life. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, you look at, like, the demolition stuff you do in this game, there's, like, no way you'd sit there and do it. You just wouldn't have the tolerance. You're talking weeks and weeks of work. Um... More than I need, but putting water glasses for everyone at the table. This is where typically they place the water glasses on most tables. It is kind of crappy because they just assume you're right handed. Alright, so now we need wall decorations. Definitely do those really- oh, what was about that? 
It's a shame I can't change the color of that, because the dark wood would probably look pretty good. I just realized we have the in-game music going this whole time with that. Hmm. Alright, that's better than nothing. And now I have to put 10 plants in here. Just a stick in a jar. This is such... I just know to put all the plants in there. There's too many plants. Like, you can put a plant in... Oh, that's fine. I'm putting a plant in every table. I accept. I was like, I don't want to do all these little plants. It's fine. I'll put a little plant in every table. We'll put, like, a, um... What are they called? The little ones that you basically don't have to water. A succulent. We'll put a succulent on each, each of these tables. Whatever the small... A little bamboo plant? No. We have some like microscopic, right? Couple, couple teeny tiny little flowers. Perfect. Everyone gets one of these. That's fine. Yep. I only need one light though, apparently. Of this style it is. Um... Sure, good enough. And we need a bunch of these lights. Change their color. It's just white. Let's start this by putting one on each of these columns. We didn't do the outside wall. And I still have to do three more, which is perfect because we go one, two, three. And I need some chandeliers. And some mirrors. Okay, that already has its own mirror. Um, sure. It's interesting that you have to have a mirror. 
Like not they don't even call it like a wall decoration. It's like no, you must have a mirror. Got to be like the little square one. Well, I have to say, the restaurant looks fantastic. Better say it. Oh, no, put that put that back up. Okay. Well, I have to say, the restaurant looks fantastic. Cool. So now I get money from people coming for the restaurant. That took forever and burnt a heck of a lot of our money. All right. Yeah, now I got like a steady steady group of people just walking into the restaurant. Love to see it. I also love that we have a restaurant and then we have like a faux bar that we've made up here that's not even legit. Oh, did I, like, can I fix this? Okay. Call that repaired? That thing is scuffed. Like, this is disgusting. It's fine. Don't look directly at chat and it can't hurt you. Alright, so I got one room left for the batch, or for the, um, the wedding. We first need to go to 101... Oops, the rooms are getting dirty. Which room? So I got more money from finding a golden egg. Alright, so I need to get room 106 all squared away. And that should be the last room I need to get sorted to do the wedding. Let's break everything. It's, it's funny. Finding those chicken eggs is like a million times better than just doing the normal thing for the game to make money. Because like, I'm making, you know, 1290 bucks per day. And days actually take a pretty long time to finish. And you just pick up the eggs like, bam, $9,000. Have a nice time. Okay. Oh, there's no window in here. Alright, so this is a tiny little tiny little room here. That's fine. I can go for a tiny little room. Okay. Man, it's been just a chill game. You just like go around, you make your hotel, make it nicer. They have enough stuff you have to do without being like super duper awful. Um, like on how nuance are like, oh no, you need to do this minor detail thing. Uh, so I'm missing something. It's probably that light there. And you.
Make sure there's another one. Get rid of that. Okay. Add neon decorations for this room. Okay, so we can do what we want, but neon decorations. All right. Oh, I need to deal with this. Let's make... Do we have like a marble looking floor? Like a proper marble? Floors, carpeting, other, other I think is just grass. Carpet, I most of the carpet I really don't care for. Sure, just gonna go with that. And here we'll do tile. I'm gonna go for the tan, tan the mosaic. That's cool. Okay, that takes care of all the flooring. Now let's do the walls. Um, so I think in here... That just looks like a bunker so badly, like a really poorly made one. Yeah, most most of the brick and stuff, I've actually been pretty, pretty unimpressed. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm not usually one for wood panel. Let's do a wall of wood panel. Not the whole place, just one. I'll take this, go for like a tan. Off white, maybe beige. Nope, no, don't do that. Get rid of those. Yeah, it looks like some of these cobwebs don't come off the wall. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get these rest of the walls. I think they're gonna be pretty just standard walls. Yeah, we'll we'll make this more of a boring room. It's just gonna be beige. This is the room where fun goes to die. In other words, we're making this look like, a, I mean, other than the, the paneling in there, this is looking like an actual normal house. Like, the floors are nice. The floors are really nice. I like the wood panel wall, but, like, this is a lot more what you'd just see in a lot of places. Well, that's interesting, so it stays oh, textured. No. Electricity is out. I think I saw the fuse box in the basement. How much is the rent? Um, it's been all over there. Uh, considering my my total expected income for I think we have six or seven rooms out is twelve hundred and ninety. Um, that's but that's per day because this is a hotel. So it'd probably be astronomical. Oh, it's over here. Oh, is that the actual bride? I mean, that's 
Nah, uh, it doesn't really look wedding dress. I mean, it's having weird problems. It doesn't look super wedding dress, but it's like... I could see that being a wedding dress. I could also see that not being a wedding dress. Like, it's on that fence where it could... It could get by. Because that is one thing that a lot of people are doing nowadays to try and be more practical. Is, you know, people used to do, like, the ridiculous poofy big dresses, which is still cool if you want to do that. But there are people who are going, I only wear this dress once, it cost me an astronomical amount. And so I go, okay, well, I'm going to find, I'm going to find something that, you know, I make a quick change and it can pull double duty where after the wedding I can still use as, like, just a really nice dress. Alright, that, that bed is not, it's wanting to snap to that wall. Yeah, that's a little better. Beige. How do we describe this hotel room? Beige. You think Vlad and the chicken are in cahoots? Almost certainly. Just, just the hotel room of beige. <laughs> Double bed, side table, dresser. Where do I know that from? Yeah, so that is like kind of one of the things that's a little bit of a bummer about this game. Um, is that like every room has kind of the exact same requirements. And you get why, like, that's not unusual for a lot of these kinds of games. But, um, it kind of makes you feel like you can't do a whole lot of more creative things with it. It's fine. It's the most boring room you've ever seen. Oh no, can't do that couch. That couch has something interesting going on with it. Uh, excellent. Just default colors the whole way. Hey, try making a room as goofy as possible. Oh, I'm sure I will at some point, but I have not tried it yet. All right, so I do need these to match. So they are all beige. I need them to be at least in the same realm. These be a warm color. in there probably getting closer there we go all right now we get the cabinet i'm sorry that has color we can't have that you get you get just plain like default wood color wood even these wood colors here are more interesting than what you get. You get really boring. This 
whole place. This place seems like some nightmare hotel room. This is like the budget hotel room you get. Where like it looks good, but then you go in there and like, man, everything looks like the guy from IKEA. It's all like the same color of wood and all that. Straight up IKEA. This this is the IKEA house. And that, again, nothing wrong with IKEA stuff. I have absolutely gotten IKEA stuff myself. You get to have a fancy bathtub. You need particle board cabinets. I I'm going to assume these are particle board, because that looks like particle board. <laughs> that looks like it's a crap flamica over par bo particle board. And that white, you know that's a cheap white particle board door. <laughs> like, this wall being actually kind of nice is out of place for this whole place. And then this bathroom being like, they blew the they blew their entire renovation budget on the bathroom. That's what we're going. They completely demolished their entire budget, making a really heckin' nice bathroom. And then went, what are we doing for the rest of the house? We have $500. That looks like straight straight out of Ikea as well. Perfect. Let me go with the Ikea thing of where you got two pieces of furniture because you didn't... You got like the one and then you moved and you had to drag it with you. And you need a little bit more space, but not enough space you're going to buy a second one. This hurts because this feels like when I was moving between apartments when I was broke. And they aren't quite the same height? Uh-huh. And you'd be like, look, this is the one I'm looking for, and they're like, we don't make that anymore. You're like, ugh. Yeah, it's the one. It doesn't match with the rest of the place. It's an accessory you got afterwards. And you can have soap, because, I mean, come on. That's just being sanitary. Uh, decorations. Was stolen from the room next door because the room broke. Yeah. All right, so we need some decorations. That scream budget hotel room. Oh yeah, there you go. The bamboo. Well, two two of these. The bamboo wood wood bowl. Alright, it needs to be white though. There's gotta be one of those that's like no colors in it. Now books are expensive. We don't we're not gonna do books. The two mini candles. Fake plastic fruit. I don't think there was fake plastic fruit. I agree. Fake plastic fruit would be perfect. I don't recall seeing any though. We have some like random jars and stuff, so we had a kitchen to do that would that would fit the IKEA thing. Yeah, I don't I don't really have that. Yeah, no, unfortunately there's no fake plastic fruit that I can see. These feel like things you'd find at Ikea. Now again, because we spent all our budget... Oh, never mind, I don't need it. I was going to say, we have duplicates of the same thing. Perfect.
Let's see. Ah, yeah. That's the lights. Those are the ones we got at the store. Wasn't there one of those for here? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Couldn't have asked for more. This is going in the bathroom. These are the bathroom ones. We have, like... One light right there. I put the other light right here. See, this one could be a whole bunch of one. Because I, I will say, like, when you go there, so, not those early ones, but, like, these kind of lights, those would make sense. Uh, this kind also makes sense there, and this kind also makes sense to be, like, Ikea lights. I think we go with that one. I don't... We'll put them in the hallway. Oh, I didn't paint the roof in the hallway. Hey, hey, FG, how's it going? Um, do I have any of my mods still around? If we could get a shout-out for FG squared. Otherwise, I'll get here myself. Just saying. How are you liking, uh... Hotel Renovator? I'll give you a, give you a tour. I'm actually having a pretty good time with it. Um... And thank you, thank you. But yeah, that's right. We checked, dropped by yesterday because we were um, doing some Nautica and you were doing Dave the Diver and it was perfect. Uh, don't worry about this, FG. It's totally fine. Um, nothing to see there. All right. Um, yeah, so let's do the Grand Tour. Oh, we haven't done our hallway yet. So don't worry about that. Where was, where was our first room? That's not our first room. This is the very first room we did. Um, so we got our Ergo Man on the table. For those of us who have done, like, art and anatomy and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. And for, the, for, for those who haven't caught on, I'm still waking up. But, um, absolutely. You should check out, uh, you should check out FG Squared. Fantastic streamer, content creator. 100% check him out. Does a lot of, uh, does a lot of variety content. Absolutely worth doing. Like, very, very similar stuff to what we do. Drop file and all that good stuff. But yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, it's actually funny where everyone is sitting there going, It's your birthday? My birthday is this week. We're days away. Uh, my birthday is actually my day off this week, so I'm probably going to do a stream the day before and we'll let everyone get that out of their system. But um, this is the first room. I couldn't see because it was dark and it just kind of went with it. Um, and if you're asking how old I am, older than I want to be. Not old, not old enough I'm upset about it, but older than I want to be. Oh, they don't match. They don't match. How did this happen? Oh. I mean, I was going to say I wish I was 21. I don't actually wish I was 21. That's, um... What? Why aren't you... All right, let's find, there's there's the pattern. Okay, good. Yes, yeah, so this is the first room I made. It's very just rudimentary. We just kind of were learning what we we're doing. Um, and we were looking at the stickers and I was like, haha. And I thought of let's game it out. And so I shoved that back there. And now that's the way every room is. Oh, and I put the alarm clock directly between people's heads because that's the perfect place to just upset everybody. Yeah, I'm thinking the same, FG. If, like, if, if someone asks me... Oh, and we have an accent wall, so it's, like, a very... You look at this way, it looks like a modern and sterile bathroom, and this way it's got a little bit of a party. On oh, every bathroom has towels, because, come on. Yeah, I would absolutely go with, like, 27 or so. Um, and then this is the... This is Vlad's room. Not even a joke. Well, I mean, Vlad technically rents this room. Uh, Vlad said he wanted it to be black and red. We, we have delivered very black and red. <laughs> um, this is Uncle Joe's room. Uncle Joe wanted mauve pink. And this is how much pink I had to put in this room. You can tell I was getting upset about it. I kind of just started hucking the lights where they, <laughs> wherever. Um, Uncle Joe, who wanted our room to be conservative, 
but mauve pink. So we decided it's a champagne room and there's champagne. And a pink flamingo. <laughs> um, this is the young couple's room, so it's... You can live your life how you want, sir. That's not how tables work, but okay. So this is the young couple's room, also champagne. Precariously on the edge of the table. Uh, so we got that going. And of course, still have the draft. Um, bathroom's just nice. Flowers, candles. Um, we really should work in this room. Oh man, you, you heckin' move. Like, your character, your character books it. Uh, this is the Ikea room. Because we were allowed to decorate it however we wanted. So this is Ikea. Um, this is for the groom's friends. We haven't touched that room yet. This was the Batch the Ret party room. So, plentiful accommodations of whatever you need. And a mini fridge that everyone apparently leaves open forever. And more drinks. And apparently an egg. And then, you know, we even have our uh, prep for the bath champagne. What you're saying is next time I book a hotel, I can tell them how to decorate my room. That's the way it works here. I was like, man, I'm sure they do that. I don't want to think about what the premium cost of that would be. Oh, so we need to go to 106 and book it out. I like how there's the dust particles just sitting in the air, like... You're actively getting some, like you're you're getting pneumonia right now, breathing this in. Where, where's our where was our new room we just did? One oh six, yeah. This one's ready to book. Yeah, this one we put down like we actually started fancy, and I was like, I'm gonna make this the plainest room ever, so all the walls other than that one are beige. Uh, the story we have is we blew our entire budget putting like this fancy bathtub into it, and so we went to IKEA and finished the rest of the room, because you know. That's how that goes sometimes. Anyone who's done home remodeling and all that, it feels like it goes that way. So like, we've got the IKEA style globe lights. They don't even plug in, there's a battery in it and you tap it to turn it on and off. That's good, book of the room. All right, so and we're ready for the big event. The bride and the groom should be happy with what we have accomplished here. Um, yeah, as long as they don't look in the hallways. <laughs> I forgot the neon decorations. No, can I fix that? It's fine. They get they whoa, whoa. forty thousand for the wedding payment. Heck yeah. It's almost like it wasn't this all those broke. Really cool. Oh yeah, this is how you uh, this is how you vacuum places in real life, right? I know the wedding is start. I've got to uh, I've got to vacuum. But yeah, I know I'm enjoying this. Yeah, because we played um, today. We played West West of Dead. Um, it was fun, but there was some design decisions that were pretty glaring. Electricity is out. I think I saw the fuse box in the basement. Ah, oh, yeah, that'll help the wedding having the power go out. Ooh. New quality level unlocked. Nice. But yeah, so West of Dead we had a lot of fun with. It's like an action RPG roguelite. The big problem is there's cover in the game as a mechanic, and that was fine. But, like, your character would almost be, like, magnetized, so you'd be trying to dodge past cover, your character would go... And then your character would move slower while they're against it, and I got hit so many times, to the point I was trying to go away, like, avoid cover at all costs. This is the whole thing. Man, your wedding party is, like... Holy crap, what is this wedding? 
So you've got you've got who's obviously the groom because they're literally the only guy here, um, and you've clearly got the bride. At least I hope that's the bride. And then Whoa, this is it just nothing but party. bridesmaids? The in the restaurant looks good. You can change it though, whenever you like. All right. I mean, hey, party how you want. Small wedding is great. But yeah, so it was it was good there. But yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not judging. It's just like you walk is like, hey, this is certainly an air one. Who was like, this is my kind of wedding. Oh, this is perfect. They are super famous now. Apartments on the second floor will be just right for them. Who's super famous? What's going on? Does he have multiple eyes? Hey, I mean, live their life how they want to live their life. You know these two are fighting saying, I wore this first. I told you I was going to wear this. Like, that's that's what she's doing, circling her. Is She is just going, we talked about this. I told you beforehand I was going to wear this. Why are you wearing the same dress as I had? The same shoes. Like, we talked about this. You keep doing this. They're that friend. I also like that I made this bar up here. Like, I put this together. The singer is back and wants to stay here. So I made that, I made the bar up here, like, made my own countertop and everything. And then they're just like, by the way, bar. Prefab. <laughs> um, can I upgrade my desk again? No. Alright, so prepare to book a room for Celine on floor two. Um, but, oh, I apparently just mouse over the button to fix it. Congratulations, you have repaired another part of the elevator panel and unlocked another floor. The hotel can expand even more. Now you can use the button in the elevator to go to the second floor to start renovating. Ah, uh, yes, another floor I haven't bothered dealing with yet. I like the idea... Oh, I, right, I'm still in that. Yeah, I like the idea that you know, my building has four floors, and just the buttons are missing, and so I cannot reach the other floors. There's no, like, fire escape or anything like that. Now it's one person with a split personality. Oh, I'm just seeing, like, their, um, them having the dialogue with their second self. That feels weird. I shouldn't go with that. Our, uh, our, our rating is going down. Okay, our rating is going down. I feel like I should actually clear up the second floor, this floor, before we start the next one. Um, I should probably clear up the back area too, but I'm not going to, let's be honest. I should at least get these hallways clean. Because... This is clearly still a loading screen. But yeah, so we, we did we uh, West of Dead. Like, it, it feels like a game that could be really, really good. But, like, they did, like, you would stand still and the camera would do this. Like, and for, for the people I know in chat who get motion sickness, it wasn't bothering them, which was surprising. Um, because we have a couple people who that's, that's a normal thing they run into. But, um, like, for me, it was actually kind of bothering me. Like, just the camera being really wishy-washy and then sometimes it would kind of move itself. Um, so it's, like, really, it's super easy kind of thing. Maybe someone tripped and hurt themselves in the hallway. They're gonna see you. <laughs> oh! Those ratings are the current floor. Can I actually, like, renovate the elevator? No. Okay. Smash! Smash! Oh, right! I can get new tools now. So we can get soundproofing to increase guest satisfaction by one point and reduce noise complaints. There's one less thing to worry about. That should be heckin' expensive. Social media. Um, they say the world runs in advertising. A social media campaign will produce the price of your rooms by 10%. Cool. Profitable destruction. You automatically get back half of what you've invested in each item you destroy from now on. It's called 
gratifying destruction. Yup. I was actually hoping we would get the dynamite. Smash. Why do I suddenly feel like I'm playing... Oh, what's the game? Uh, Russian developer. Um, Post-apocalyptic world. Radiation. Um, oh, man. <sighs> Blanking on it. Metro? Metro, that's it. Feels like it's like going down this hallway feels like metro. It just needs to be like a thousand times darker. Yeah, I haven't played Stalker yet. I've I've had a lot of people say I should. It just hasn't happened. Metro's by Ukrainian devs? Oh, I got that wrong. I feel bad. I haven't played in so long. My apologies to the devs. There's no one coming out in, uh, Q3? Gotcha. Is this felt it was an important thing to point out with everything that's going on? Oh yeah, no, I appreciate it. Like I'd rather I'd rather be correct in that kind of thing. Wasn't Metro set in Russia though? I think so. Because I wanna say wasn't the locations like St. Petersburg? Because it was you were you were in the um I mean you're in the metro system. That might be why my brain went, oh, it's there. You know what's not going to happen in real life? You're not taking a, um, a vacuum cleaner and cleaning up this kind of debris and having a functional vacuum cleaner for more than like two seconds. Alright, so there's an egg in the corner. We'll go grab that in a moment. Your your vacuum cleaner sweeping this up is dead. And not the you're going to fix it kind of dead. It's it's the you take your vacuum cleaner, you walk out to the trash can, you drop it, you you drop it in dead. Oh there it is. I'd be like, where'd the egg go? Give me the money. I don't even think it'd take, like, the strongest shot back I could find against this. This is a... That is a you get a shovel and you put in a garbage bag. It's perfect. I like it just the way it is. This is... Oh. Let's get rid of you. Up, oh, up, oh, we're hanging. Oh, I don't know what's happening, actually. Okay, there we go. This is where you hire someone to avoid getting cancer in five years? Yeah. We we mentioned that one earlier. We were smashing a bunch of walls and like you're just kinda wait, what's this? Other? Oh, I got new gradient. I don't like those. Um, alright, so we're back to the wall coverings we had before. Alright. So that's the crux no, that's Hey, we have a problem. Our elevator's jammed. What do we do? Is that the same color? 
Yes, it appears to be the same color. All right, so you gotta remember. Cause I don't want the hallways the entire way to be that. Um, uh, I just made that ceiling gray. I kind of wish there was one of those, like a lot of games will have it where you have like the tool where you can say like, you know, point at this, give me whatever that is. Um, so when you don't remember what color you've done, you're gonna be like, just, just show me that one. Yeah, pipe it tool. All right, it's time to lag out the game, chat. All right, we're chugging. We're chugging. Okay, there we go. Next one, and chug a chug a chug a chug. Chug, watch it. Okay. If you don't know what's happening, when you choose to paint like a very large space or tile a very large space with that tool, it, uh, it chugs. Oh, right. Didn't I make the elevators have the accent color? Oh, did I actually clear those off? That's why I didn't put the brock brick on. So we want to go boom, boom, boom. And... Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot I needed to do that. Fixing our elevator, we're just smashing it with a crowbar a bunch. As you do. Can you re decorate the inside elevator? It didn't look like I could. Oh, you try the middle mouse click to select the color thing you're looking at? It works in Minecraft Science Factory? I can check it. Sometimes I get kind of stuck when I'm choosing things. Alright. So what I want to try and do is match the accent color. Really don't want to have to go down there to do it though. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like that does anything. That is a very upsetting color. Doesn't seem like it's the right orange. Okay, so now I need to decide what we're doing. So, do I want to have the accent wall back there? Nah, that could stay the same way. Um, yeah, let's actually go here. So that wall, that wall, and that wall. This middle area, we're still going to use the same floor plan. Um, I don't think we're going to put... Do we put... Oh, man. It is a bummer that, like, when you start placing a whole bunch of walls... Okay, so let's not... Let's not repeat that. Did we ever... All right, this is the first floor... Like, this is about to say, it's like, what did we do for our last hallway? There wasn't a last hallway. That's right. All right, so... Um... Still not loving any of these. Like, we did the wave pattern in one. <laughs> Every time I see the cats. 
every time I see the cats, it's just like, man, could you imagine going to a hotel and that's the wall? Or the bananas. Or like, see this one I can actually see working someplace. Can you put the cats in the ceiling? Oh, please tell me. No, you can't. It's so like this one I could see like, you know, Universal Studios, Halloween Horror Nights kind of thing, that they would have a hotel with kind of this. I bet your butt that there's a hotel in Japan that has that cat wall. Okay, probably. There's a bunch of other fun ones too. Like the, uh, the chicken wings and potatoes. I also appreciate it's chicken wings and potatoes, not mashed potatoes, chicken wings and full-on potato. We've got Nemo and Friends, that's what I'm gonna call it. We got Dinosaurs. I actually like this one. Just, just the cats. We're, we're making one room that's going to be like, you know, you're taking your kid to, uh, to like the local whatever theme park, whatever. Panels? Oh, did we just get panels? I don't really like panels. But you can, uh, you can wall player just one or two squares at a time, right? Yes. Uh, just have one cat in the middle of some other wall. I was actually thinking what I could do is effectively do like the panel on the bottom, not have this middle section, have the top section, and then have like some obnoxious wallpaper in the middle. <laughs> then I'm also looking going, that would actually be a lot of work. And I'm very lazy. Man, this feels like every hotel I've been to for a conference. This style of wall right here. Where it's like some kind of frame on the bottom, and then just some bland color on top. Yeah, that's the one. Not that one. That doesn't exist. Yeah, that's one I'd see. That one there? No. Nope, nope. The reds, the reds wouldn't exist. Maybe. That one would be a definite. Usually they're closer to beige, though. Seen plenty of hotels who do this kind of thing, too. The other one hotels do a lot is this. They go, what is the least exciting color possible? That's my entire hallway. You know what, that's what we're doing because I'm gonna be indecisive. This floor, oh, that, that, this is our early game floor. This is the floor before we had access to cool stuff. But no, the idea is our second floor is the fancy floor. This floor is from my beige period. Ah, uh, did that paint over? It's fine. Ugh. The hang when you try and paint that much is rough. How's the stream been? The stream's been good. Like... West for Dead was fun. Sure, it's got some decisions that weren't great. But it was at least a good time. Um, Norco looks like it's an amazing game. But we started playing and went, wait a second, this is not a good fit for this channel. Um, it tackles some pretty tough stuff. Um, and where you're like five minutes into the game and your mother dies of cancer, I'm like, you know what? Let's try something else. This isn't exactly what I was expecting from this game. The uh, the thing I read about it didn't didn't imply that was where this is going, but here we are. Oh, it was, it was like within five minutes. I'm like, oh, this is a game where we're going to be dealing with like chronic depression or something, not in like 
like how to mitigate it, but like having a serious look at it, I'm like that's a good game, and it looks like an amazing game. Definitely not the feel I'm going for on the channel. <sighs> this is the only carpet that feels hotelish. Like not with that color. They do like gray on white. Something's weird going on in one of the rooms. It sounds like a ghost. It's freaking me out. Get rid of it. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Why do I dislike all the carpets in this thing so much? Like, they're not bad carpets. I don't know what it is, but it's like half these cards are like, just no. I still like that in the other, it's just grass. That's your only option is grass. You can choose what kind of grass, but it's grass. That is the other category in its entirety. I'm wondering where you can go that grass seems like the appropriate decision. Who are we going to call a supremely underqualified minor hoteler who ha does his own maintenance with a crowbar? I can do wood floors. That seems... So empty and barren. It's what's happening. Oh, the frame rate. Okay. Room 102 is haunted. What? It's a ghost. I don't know. Maybe try using some combination of vacuum cleaner and go and the ghost trap. Um, just don't cross the streams. Okay, so it's going to have me get the ghost trap, which we noticed earlier. There's the ghost trap. Oops, room's going to... I don't understand. So ghost seems to be haunting just the one room. Or not. Keep cutting through this corner.
I guess now I can sell the ghost. Ah, uh, when I swept it up, it took away the bed and get get this out of my hands. You know what? It's fine. You don't get to have the stuff things. So fix the floor. There's one. Normally it leaves stuff behind so when it gets destroyed, but I think what happened was because there's so much like blocking it kind of thing. Is that the, that's not the bed we used, right? I remember we had problems with this bed before. Oh, this is the bed that was there before. We have to move stuff, aren't I? Why are you being so weird all of a sudden with me trying to play stuff? It's like pulling it into my face. Right, there was one that was a rose bed. I don't actually think this is the correct bed. There, it was that one. So we changed the colors. Okay, go with that. You're not in position. There you go. Close enough. All right. Um, I like how it's still like before and after, despite everything else. Cool. All right. Event. Uh, I wanted. All I wanted was world peace, but now I can't seem to get any uh, peace my, for myself. I'd really love to stay in a hotel for a while, but I need some extra privacy. Can you provide that for me? Yes. Um, room 102. You want curtains and you want white linens. Okay. Alright, so you want what? Oh, yeah. White lilies. Thank you. White lilies. So you want a lot of white lilies. Sure, we can go with that. Uh huh. Perfect. There. White lilies everywhere. Just dump them on the ground right inside the door. That's the thing. I, I can see people making videos, but they're like, let me satisfy the thing. 
and just slamming all the furniture into a corner and all that. Like, you know, it'll look like this room, but it will satisfy all the requirements. So it passes. Um, all right. Let's go up the next floor. So we still have a room on the bottom floor that like has nothing going on. Like it's just it's a room um and all that. So I imagine you got a book that it's so interesting how little of your money actually comes from renting your rooms. Cuz like you look you look you grab all those eggs and you get like 10,000 or whatever. And you're considering you're getting less than like at this point I have an entire floor but just about booked up. And I'm still not making 2,000. That grabbing the egg is the more efficient way of dealing with everything. Okay. So. 201. Celine shared some room design she created on her social media account. She loves wallpaper with graphics on it. And black furniture. Alright, I guess we get to do graphics. You may not like the uh, the graphics we end up doing, though. There's already water paper graphics. Yeah, but this is like considered old and stained, and you can't like clean it or anything. Like, when you go in the room, there'll be, like, one painting or something that'll actually be considered valid that, you know, won't be considered trash or whatever. But everything else is automatically. You gotta love how you're taking down the wallpaper with a hammer. Yep. I just love that, like, so... I ha I don't know if you had to... Like, have you have you played this um already, FG? Because I just appreciate... So they start you with a crowbar, and, like, when you think of, you know... Not yet. So when you think of like House Flipper, it's like this. But with this, you can like really aim it back and go BAM. It cuts out a whole square. And that's pretty cool. And they're like, you know what? What if it took less time? Smash an entire wall. I appreciate that. And like later, there's supposed to be a thing that I can clear an entire hallway where I just like, this hallway or like room, I want it clear. I really appreciate that. Because that's usually where I'll start getting, um, not frustrated, that'd be oversaying it. That I, um, I'll get to the point where I'm just like, ah, I don't want to. Is when you get into the game, it's like you're at that point where you're like, okay, I want to do this thing. It's like, alright, well, I'm going to spend like 30 minutes just clearing this stuff out. And it's not super satisfying. Like, when you're playing games like Pressure Washer, it's super satisfying. But picking up individual pieces of trash can, like where it has like a load time on the uh, the swing and everything, that can be not fun. But this is like really fun. Like that's the whole thing. What makes these games so much fun is it's way better than doing it in real life. Like in real life, de like demoing a room like this, you're talking a team of people spending a couple of weeks like demoing the room, repainting, like can even go up to like months. You're talking it's a major, major project. And this was like, how long did it take me to demo the room? This room? Bet you can get through it in about like one minute. Yeah, like, it's so much fun because you can, like, you can have the catharsis of actually getting all that cleaning done and all that, but without the monotony of, you know, demoing this room taking you multiple weeks. And then when you're done, your back hurts, your shoulder hurts, everything hurts. And that's even assuming you have the availability of the equipment to do it properly. 
That's an interesting floor design. Oh, I missed a room. Okay. So, this is the bathroom. Won't hurt as bad if you drink some beer. Hurts more the next day. While you're doing it, it might not hurt as much. As you do a lot of how that goes, as you, uh... You don't notice you're in pain the next day. One of our guests has lost their wallet. Okay. Do we go find their wallet? Did you rent renovate one room at a time in the hotel? Yeah, basically. You could, if you wanted to, I imagine, go through and renovate room after room after room. Or not, not like, instead, like, you could go through and, like, sweep all the rooms. They like, spend one dime, like, going through, smashing everything in every room, then circle back and, like, sweep all the rooms. You could do it that way. But generally speaking, because you can only make money when the room's done, and the way the game's kind of tutorial leads you, it very much does feel like the idea is you want to finish a room, you know, get all that, book it out, then get the next one. All right, let's see if we can't find the wallet. The first time, it was there. The second time, it was sitting on top of the light bulb in this light. Yay, we're going to return the wallet. Cool. But that time I was sitting in a chair. That was actually a very logical place for it to be. Like, the countertop was also a very logical place. It was like, okay, you just paid for your room. You may have, like, taken out your wallet, sat down, taken your card out, went to show it to the person, gotten distracted, forgot that your wallet was sitting there. Like, that's not something I've personally run into, but at least I can see the, the thing. Like, for me, I usually just forget, if, if I'm going to forget a wallet, I'm going to forget to bring it with me. My wallet only leaves my pocket to take stuff in and out of it. So it's, I don't think I've ever left it behind anywhere at any point, actually. You know, as far as when I've been, I've definitely forgotten to bring it in the first place. And you get there and you order food and you go, oh no, I'm so sorry. Luckily, those times, the places I was at was very close to home. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to be back in like 10 minutes. <laughs> Do you think that satisfaction is sinking? Um, you're at 4.2 now. I think before. Well, I think it's per room. So, like, this room, maybe it's two. So, it's saying zero. But when I go down below, like, it, I think that's showing the corridor, like, the quality of it per star. Unless you mean the thing at the top middle. I'm not sure, actually. Oh, it's saying I still have a wall... It wouldn't surprise me, like, one of the rooms is, like, a little dirty or something. Um, we also have some of our guests are kind of crappy people. Um. Oh, up there? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, so I've got some problems with, like, noise issues. Alright, so... I have two more units of wall that aren't cleared off. Oh, they'll be right there. Hey, you know what? <laughs> All right, FG. Maybe thank you for uh, hanging out and all that. There's some things. Can we continue on playing? Yeah, I've had a great time with it. Thank you for popping in. Hey, and how, how's it going? We Patoon Rose will say, I see you left your world to get into mine. I'm the guy who works as a night receptionist in a fairly big hotel in Italy. If you remember, gotcha. Yeah, if only all of. Oh, you know what it could be? No, it's not the top windows. We had that in a previous one. There's the walls are missing. Um, I doing, I'm doing pretty good. You know, found my calling of, uh... You know, running a hotel. We certainly would not have been shut down and, you know, the first inspection. That's absolutely nothing that would happen. Okay, so she wants shades of black for her furniture. So they implied that there's soundproofing now. 
I'm curious how we do that. Or is it just a thing that happens in general? That does not look like a two or a three floor. <laughs> oh, yeah. We are... Huh. Alright. Yeah, so mention the soundproofing. I'm not seeing anything here unless it's under other... Let's see, they were on the fourth floor, one wing, and then the fifth floor, and then they started on the other wing. Now there's only a second floor and the second wing. The whole thing was completely redone. Gotcha. The funny thing is, um, I've been doing this job for around six years, and since I started, they've been renovating a floor after floor of the hotel. Uh, two wings, five floors each? Yeah. Hey, hey! How's it going, Mal Blue Eyes? It's been a while. Let me go ahead and drop... Or not drop one. Let me go ahead and get you a shout out. Good seeing you. We got a shout out for Mount Blue Eyes, who has recently been playing Stardew Valley. Good seeing you. Stardew Valley is always fantastic. But welcome, Raiders. For those who doesn't know, who don't know Mount Blue Eyes, fantastic content creator. Does a lot of Stardew Valley. Really good time. Absolutely worth tuning into and dropping a follow if you're into Stardew Valley and those sound games. One hundred percent would recommend. Um, for those who are popping in with the raid, let's see, it was, I saw you playing, um, in this and I was like, this is happening. We're going right now. Nice. It is a very fascinating game. Let me give you a tour of the hotel. And in the meanwhile, I am roll stores. I do play a variety of games here on Twitch. So I'm just starting this floor. So this is like what the hotels looks like when you start it. Um, it's like rooms we haven't gone into. Marcus they all look the terrible. That terrible. actually writes their compositions. He's a genius. Very serious and dark. I'd go for a minimalistic design. Just black and white, honestly. Hey, the file. But uh, I am Royal Stars. We play a variety of games here on Twitch. But um, the main game I'm known for is Project Zomboid, where I used to hold the record for the highest kill count run ever streamed at 135,120 zombies killed in Harder Apocalypse settings on one character, one life, and all that. Thanks so much for that follow. But um, I've been taking kind of a, not a hiatus run, but I like really toning back to the Project Zomboid. I do a variety of games on this channel. Uh, so, like, I've done plenty of Stardew Valley, which is, you know, how I bumped into Mal Blue Eyes in the first place. But, yeah, so this is our hotel so far. Um, I handcrafted this bar and everything. Made all nice and pretty. Did all that kind of stuff. Got, like, a little waiting area out here. You know that. Haven't worked anything back here. This doesn't exist. You don't need to see it. Um, and that was with after the point I then realized the game comes with the bar. But that's okay. We can have two bars. So, we got our little restaurant back here. Oh, snazzy. So we got all that going. Got our little orange accent walls. Because this whole place is a dump when you get in here. Like, literally everything. Yeah, coffee bar. But, um, all the work I've done for the most part of the hotel has been on floor one. I think there's still one hotel room down here that's a, that's a disaster. Um, just so you know. Oh, uh, it takes a moment to load the texture sometimes. But, um, just so you know, like, you'll have people who show up and they'll have requests. This is at the end as, like... You know, people don't get to have nice things. This is the beige one. Where's the first room? So this is the first room I did. Um, I didn't realize how pink it was until we had some actual light in here. Uh, don't worry about the draft. But, um, so we just, you know, we're following the directions of, like, add the curtain, add some art. You know, very basic room. You know, bathroom with an accent wall. Every room has towels. Um, but then we get a whole bunch of ones. So we've got, this is the room that we had Vlad showed up. Uh, Vlad is a vampire, and that, so they wanted, you know... What What is all of this? Why is there a giant pile of money? Oh, that's how tips work in this. Okay, so I gotta go to the rooms and check for the tips. Yeah, Vlad wanted uh, black and red, so we gave Vlad black and red. Don't worry about the draft. So even the bathroom... Everything black and red. And they wanted candles. Lots of candles. Um, the next one. So you might be thinking this is like the band Pink. Or something like this. Or like someone who's super into champagne. No, this is actual, actually Uncle Joe's room. And I'm not even joking. This is legitimately Uncle Joe's room. Um, and Uncle Joe wanted a very conservative room that was uh, mauve pink. Um, Uncle Joe is a very conflicted person, I guess. 
because I was trying to figure out how you had conservative room and mauve pink. Oh, and it looks like we just got hit with an ad break. I do apologize. You know how Twitch ads be these days. Uncle Joe is... <laughs> what is he getting up to? Yeah, and uh, he's got his nice little... Uh, he has a nice little champagne bottle. Because we figured it's like, this may be Uncle Joe's room, but I mean, this this is the champagne room. Let's, this, this, this is the champagne room. We all agree, champagne room. But I'm going to go ahead and hang on the tour just for a minute there. We did get hit with an ad break, so I do apologize for everyone who gets stuck there. You're not going to hear me saying this, but I'm saying it anyways, so. It's Twitch. It is what it is these days. If you view a con content creation platform, you're getting hit with ads. It's just the reality we live in, and it sucks. But I do run the minimum amount of ads required. Do that. Yeah. I'll have to uh, I'll have to cover the whole ad thing once you get out of there. Because for those who don't know what changed and why you're getting hit with a huge ad block, what uh what ended up happening is it used to be we had to run 90... I'm going to wait till we get after the ad break so I can do the whole spiel. Because people make a big stink about it. Um, it's just kind of a situation we get stuck in. I'm trying to do it to be in the least disruptive way possible, uh, where we don't get pre-rolls, because pre-rolls are pretty rough for content growth, or channel growth not. They're just gonna chill here for a minute. Normally on these breaks, I would do, uh, words on stream. Um, that's what I've been doing, and when I say normally, we've been doing this for, like, three days. But, um, in this case, I didn't know this, yeah, break started until it was, like, good 30 seconds in, which is something going on. Yeah, sorry, words, marbles on stream. Words on stream takes too long. Marbles on stream. Thank you. We do words on stream when I uh, stop that. Then we have to also do the little nasty thing about please don't, please don't call out the ads. We know it sucks. But uh, Padon is currently stuck in ads, so it's not going to do me any good saying anything. But um, then we'll continue our tour and we'll check out the next rooms and all that. But give me just a minute. We got, we got a whole bunch. It is what it is. And this is the minimum amount of ads required for it. It's just, I put them all in one block now, because we're allowed to do that as of two, three days ago. Whereas we used to have to split them up into smaller blocks. More smaller blocks. Alright. So we got 30 more seconds, and we'll get going. But yeah. So we'll do that whole little spiel real fast, and then we'll get back on the tour. Yeah, no, I mean, I actually used to have an ads command, I thought, Burn and Sun. Oh, does it Twitch tell you how many of your viewers are stuck in ads? Or is it just that there is ads? It just tells me that there is. Yeah, I probably need to get a get a new one. Okay. So, yeah, so just to fill in, to kind of go into the first, please don't bring up the ads thing. We know they're, they're, we know, like, ads are a thing. It is, it is what it is. I do know they suck. Um, I do run the minimum number of ads required to disable pre-rolls, because pre-rolls are actually really rough for channel growth for streamers. Um, but the reason why you got hit with such a big block is it used to be we had to do two blocks of 90-second ads during an hour, so 30 minutes, 90 seconds, 30 minutes, 90 seconds. Um, whereas now I can actually do the full hour and then three minutes. So it's the same amount of ads per hour, but it's just all in one one bunch. And thank you so much for the follow, welcome to stream. So I put them all in one bunch. So what happens is we have like once an hour, we have a nice little spot. Um, it gives me a chance to like do the stretches and all that if it's good, but it does suck because ads suck. No one likes ads. Um, you can get around ads by either getting Twitch Turbo, which I get no kickbacks from that. So like me telling you about that does nothing for me directly. Um, but Twitch Turbo is a thing that will make it advertising free across just about all of Twitch. Runs like 10 bucks a month. Um, you can subscribe to the channel. Obviously, that's what I'd prefer because that would make me money, but that's not the point for the ads. Um, or you can find um, technical solutions, uh, whatever those might be. Um, stuff like ad blockers, that kind of thing. I don't know what works or nothing. But it says, it's the first time I've seen so many at once. I usually see two other things. So now I should be ad free for a couple weeks, right? Uh, for an hour. <laughs> you'll, you'll be ad free for an hour. Yeah, I know it's basically where you'd have your two ad, bro your two ad blocks per hour. It just smashed into one. But um, but yeah, so that's just the whole thing. It sucks. I it's there's not a content platform you can go away get away with ads. So I'm gonna go ahead and catch it. So yeah, so we are in Uncle Joe's room. Um, 
and we have said that you know it's conservative well, the requirement is it's conservative and that he wanted to be mauve pink and that's quite literally what he wanted uh so even though this is joe's room i'm calling it the champagne room because this is a hecking champagne room and don't mind the draft um rather throw money roll the twitch yeah it's just like for if you're only going to be able to sub to like one or two people you know that's all you can afford or are willing to pay which is totally fine uh twitch turbo is usually the better deal i'd rather you do that and enjoy the content than um not be able to um and this is the young couples room so this is like a super heckin romantic room so again more champagne i love you balloons that don't float candles everywhere um definitely safe to have these candles directly below that wood don't worry about it uh we've got our bathroom with more candles you know, actually, I guess this isn't their room anymore. This is that environment or that person trying to create world peace who wanted a bunch of flowers. The point is, romantic room. That's that side. Oh, and don't worry about the chicken. We'll talk to the chicken in a minute. Uh, this is the Ikea room. Um, because they didn't really give me any recruit like requirements for it. And I didn't know what to paint the walls, so I wanted beige. So we decided, okay, what's the most boring we can make the room? And so we just made the room look as ikea as ikea could be uh so i've got like the bamboo bowl everything has the white and that you know you've got your globe lights battery operated of course do not plug in uh don't worry about the draft that's like this is the only nice thing is we have the panel wall uh and our excuse is that they spent all the money on this bathtub uh and then they like broke their budget and they just had to make do with the rest being ikea so we even have like where they clearly got two different things at different points and they're not the right size or shape to work together. That room hasn't been done yet. I uh, I love the stuff floating in the room. We'll deal with the chicken later. That room's not done yet either. Uh, this is the bachelorette room because there was a bachelorette party. Uh, so hence there's champagne and there's mixed drinks and there's cups everywhere. It's got like all sorts of fun lighting. Don't mind the draft. I uh, got more champagne in this room where you can look out in the construction site, I guess. Um, we got our fancy little bathroom here with under lighting under the sink um, and your champagne staged both at the toilet and at the bathtub so that, you know, everyone's got their champagne. I would have liked other balloons, but they didn't have any balloons that screamed bachelorette party. And then I'm also slightly concerned that proper bachelorette balloons would more than certainly be TOS. Let's see. There are no fire hazards here. I'm saying, I'm against the whole concept of ad blockers. I agree ads are a fair way to compensate creators as they scale perfectly with the you know, actual spectator's interest. But this is getting as far as um as Twitch is pushing beyond their own good. The glues users. Yeah, no, I don't disagree. But it is what it is. So now I've run into the chicken. The chicken breaks stuff and it apparently challenges me to dice. So I'm gonna hit the chicken with the dice just because that's the way I roll. The chicken is kicking her butt. This game gets weird sometimes. Um, I really hope this is all your own lore and not the lore of the game. So, Vlad is literally a vampire. Um, because I haven't even showed you the best part with Vlad. We'll go. We'll go deal with Vlad in a minute. I mean, I'm doing dice battle against a chicken right now. And the chicken is absolutely throttling me, for the record. Mm-hmm. It's three to zero in the chicken's favor, and I do five rounds, and the chicken goes away. Well, the last round's mine. Now, the thing that takes for Vlad even a step farther... So we built that custom room for Vlad. It was black, it was red, it was dark, no mirrors. Vlad was very specific, no mirrors. Um, we just gotta wait for that texture to load back in. Um, we had to have all the windows covered, no sunlight. Oh, this is just showing what stuff I have. Oh, that's cool. But um, if we go down to the basement, this is the trunk that had all our grandpa's stuff in it. Um, this is actually where Vlad sleeps, because Vlad finds us more comfortable than the bed. And that's not me joking, that is actually where Vlad sleeps. Uh, because he was like, ah, musty, cold, perfect. 
Is there more doors down here? We never really did look. Let's 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 clean up the stuff down here real fast. Like I'm not gonna actually make it nice yet. But it does feel like it should get the junk out of the way. Well, that is a simple vamp. Doesn't need much. Part of me wondered if I was going to be able to snap that lock off and go in there. Okay, I'm not going to question why that exploded in front of me after I had swung a little bit ago, but okay. Vlad did it. Ah, oh, that checks out. Hey, Vlad. How's it going, buddy? I just want to get the stuff from behind your head, buddy. Don't worry about it. As long as you're good on the rent, you can stay. This helps you sleep, right, Vlad? Cool. Well, at least that's not full of trash anymore. And yes, you get dynamite in the game. Cool. Yes, yeah, so that's the... Oh, and the restaurant. I totally forgot about it. So we have a restaurant back here that's all super nice. I think... I don't think I showed that. Because I've given the tour like two or three times. And this trash can... This piece of trash keeps reappearing. Yeah, so when you're building the rooms, I'll probably be building a room here in just a minute. But um, when you build the rooms, like, it gives you a bunch of requirements you have to meet. Yeah, I'll go ahead and we'll finish uh, Celine's room. I actually really appreciate Celine, because um, when you start out, like, the main room is a total dump. And you do a couple, like, the little rooms to, like, get money going. And then she's like, hey, I want to have my rock, vi like, my, my music video. And I want to have, like you destroying your main room as the background for my music video. And so, like, she's playing, like, rock music and everything while you're just trashing the room. Okay. So, she wants shades of black as part of her styling. Um, alright. So... What type of flooring do you want to go with? Let's start with the bathroom. And she's a rock star, by the way. Do we have anything that's like good dark in this? Not really. No. Looking for something near black. Uh, could you shrink your head, uh, like, by 10% so I can see the styles? Um, I don't think I'm covering... One thing is my camera's not in position, right? Oh, yeah, the style suggestion optionals, just so you know, Chris, there's nothing here. Right now, this is actually empty. This, this over here-ish, that has something... But this is literally empty right now. <laughs> yeah, now if I see something back there, I could try and move it. We had one earlier. I've only had, I think, one person who's like, this is the style I want. Maybe this one? Do you got, do you got a good dark design that she wants things to be black? Oh, now I have so many color options. This is literally empty? Yep, not arguing. Truth detected. I know where I stand. I'm not too proud. Uh, that probably, that probably doesn't qualify as... Maybe it qualifies black? It does. Okay, cool. 
Alright, so let's figure out our wall situation. Again, this is a bathroom we're working with. Um, that's a nice clip to miss recording. That was just me who noticed. Again, not arguing it. Yeah, so she wants black. Okay, and I can't do tiles or anything on the ceiling. Find some black. There might not be black in the set. Yeah, she liked graphic wallpapers. It's not saying that anywhere here. So you're right, yeah. So I should have a wallpaper graphic. So we can certainly do the fish. Oh no! Electricity is out. I think I saw the fuse box in the basement. We could do Nemo and friends. Oh, I have to clear the wall. All right, let's fix our power. That is that is possibly the only thing I would say is a little bit of a complaint I have, is how often I feel like I have to run downstairs and like flip the fuse box, or there's like an event where you have a leaky pipe. Um, you end up doing that a lot. I'm wondering if you just ignore it if it's like actually a big problem, or if it's just something like. On one hand, it's nice that it kind of interrupts you like doing the rooms from time to time to keep you kind of bouncing around. The one major problem we've had and it's still um, have is the real hotel renovation work I work as uh, the amount of dirt that the workers transfer in use parts the structure while working their paws are much worse than dogs after heavy raiding guarding. Yeah, it's basically just there's so much junk. Uh, flip the fuse box. What is this? Phasmophobia? Where they die and become a ghost? Um, so I'll just say this. If we look under furniture for just a minute. And I go to special. We go right over here to the left for just a moment. Oh, it should be... Yeah, we have, um... We have a ghost trap. We've used it. For actually catching ghosts. Just saying. More Ghostbusters than Phasmophobia, though. It has all sorts of ridiculous stuff in it. That's that's part of the fun of it. It's like, okay, in some ways it's like kind of like House Flipper and like really serious about the approach and everything. And in other ways there's just silly shenanigans happening. Can I fix this elevator yet? No. Okay. We're back to this room. Okay, so the problem I had is I can't put the print on the wall if it's already got tile on it. So let's go here. I do need to put the tile there. Wait, you're gonna let me put it on the... Oh, that's interesting. I'm also finding it weird that I can't seem to get rid of the cobwebs. Alright, so now let's go ahead and try real fast to why are you being weird, game? I'm trying to, uh... There we go. It said she likes graphic panels, and she likes black. So, boom. Fishy. I love all the junk in the air. It's perfect. And the spiderweb we keep walking through? 
absolutely what I've wanted in my life. Um. Alright, so this is the bedroom here. This is the living room. That's just a hallway. And all that. So bedroom's next. And again, she is she is a fan of black. Okay. Yeah, such a count because like it's basically like a black wood. So I need let's see, so all I need if I want to start a renovation is a vacuum cleaner and a pencil. Easy peasy. Yep. Let's see, no goes in this hotel working, but I had one ninety seven year old lady that was supposed to spend used to spend ten months per year with us actually dying in a room. It was the same room where she spent her honeymoon when she married at twenty years old though. So in a way, it's not that bad, I guess. Well, that's, um, not getting into, like, the, the morbid side of it. That's, um, when you actually look at, like, the cost of, you know, a hotel room or staying in medical facilities and all that, like, a lot of times the cruises aren't that much more expensive when you're getting to those points. That I understand why a lot of people, when they retire, they just go from cruise to cruise to cruise. Like, you know what? That works. Uh, let's see. Technically, it's just a broom and a crowbar and a pencil. That's all we're all Hadway's hard. Correct. You know what? We have a rock star. The rock star is getting the Halloween one. Well, that's... That sucked, Chris. Sorry to hear that. All right, Elgozo, you take it easy. Thanks for hanging out. I wish I could use it on the ceiling itself. Because it could they even have it vertical. I just can't put it on the ceiling ceiling. Halloween on one side, plain white on the other. You turn too fast and you, uh... You have to let your eyes adjust. Okay. There's even a cobweb next to it. Yeah, the cobwebs seem to just being stuck there. Like, I can't... I can't just take them down for some reason. They were disappearing earlier. I think the game's having problems as I'm making the hotel bigger and bigger with just too much stuff loaded. But, um, we'll see how it goes. Okay, I don't think I want to do the same wall covering for the whole place. Wasn't there a space one? If there was a space one, that would be good as well. Because it said this character... Yeah. It said this character specifically likes... Graphic prints. Yeah, that's a good point, Grace. Could be a memory leak issue. I have been going for a long time. Oh yeah, that's right. That's what that is. You know what? I'm going to do this for the rest of the wall. It wouldn't surprise me with as much stuff as this game does if there was a memory leak. Yeah, no, it's definitely getting a little pokey. Which, for the record, anytime I've done, like, a lot of this 
where I'm like placing all these things, it has every single time, even early on, gotten a bit of a frame rate dodge while all the things are going on the walls. Neat. So I've got all that. This room's ridiculously lit. Okay, so I still need to get the ceiling done. Um, I think I'll just do a black ceiling like we did the other room. Oops, we have an issue. There's a cracked pipe. Yep. One moment. There's the long hang for trying to paint the whole ceiling at one go. Cool. It's not going to do it all, but I don't know where it's going to cut off. Yeah, so it wants me to go down to room 106. Where we check for the leak. Then it's like, oh no, this is a real mess. And now we go down below and close the pipe. Or close the valve. Keep the uh, the water from flowing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a load screen, by the way. Alright, so 106 is this way. Yeah, those are the events I'm like, okay, I could go for less of that. So it does make me curious. So they give you guests, and then they all have, like, positive and negative. Like, Vlad creeps people out, which is a negative. Um, Versus we also have, like, a celebrity as well who makes people happy by, like, you know, they're starstruck kind of thing. They don't know, like, how scripted, like, if always they have the same person as your second one, your third one, or if there's, like, a range of people it could be. Gotta hydrate. Okay. So you want me to clean the room? Fine. Hmm. Yeah, so those quests keep you from, like... So sometimes I'll just power through the room that I was doing earlier. I do wonder if this is a game... I haven't decided yet. I could see playing this game again on stream at some point. Um, I'm enjoying it. People are enjoying watching. If not, this is the kind of game I would totally play after stream when I'm just like trying to mellow out. Alright, come on. There it goes. I still think my favorite one is when you go to repair the elevator where you just smack it with your crowbar a couple of times and the door pops up. It's like, fix. I'm like, I don't think that's how that works. I think I think you need a little bit more to fix an elevator than prying the door open with your crowbar. Come on, there you go. All right, so we've got this room, paint and all that wise, ready. So now you see it wants me to start putting furniture in. So it's saying first I need to have a bed. That's not a bed. A bed. So I'll make sure we get a you know a bed that actually fits. Because again, this is a rock star. Oh, we can get fancier beds now. Okay. That's a pretty fancy bed. That's a real fancy bed. All right. Uh, 
Ah, so, okay. Cool. There's the bed. More expensive bedroom score? Yeah, that's not uncommon. Oh, you want four cabinets? Okay, that's different. Normally, we didn't have that much. Many. Um, alright. So, let's see what our new style of cabinets are. That's a super high fancy one? Okay, sure. Put that right there for one of them. Not convinced in that one. That's fine. Okay. So I still need three more cabinets, which I'll put out here somewhere. I wonder if I can make one of these look like a kitchen room. Alright, so you can take this. Um, a small one niche near the entrance of the door, just for car keys. Uh, yeah, actually. I thought I might, be, might have a towel hook or whatever. I mean, this could be like shoes and all sorts of stuff. So it's a bit more than you're talking, but I can see having like, you know... Pair of shoes, your rock boots, your actual boots, all that. You know, you'd have your, like, a little bowl, you'd put your keys in, that kind of thing, on the corner. How's he doing that? I need one more. Right now, I'm just going to put it back here. I don't actually know what I'm doing with it. Alright, so now I need a table. I kind of don't like that, um, you're kind of trapped getting these ones later. Because they're just the ones deemed better. That is such a weird design. If I change your color, what am I changing? So I'm changing the surface, so you're always going to have the white legs. I mean, that's basically already the color I want. Four seats. That's a weird seat. All right, if I change your color, what's changing? Oh, it's so awful looking. I'm curious if I can find like an actual black for it though. Secure like the super reflective black chair would be. There we go. And you want two sofas. Can I get that to be a good color for this? Oh no. Am I going this way with it? Make everything shiny and black. Because again, she wants black furniture.
Oh, I should move these around. Um, hang on. You need to be over here. You should probably be over here. There's a reason for this. Because I could put a TV there for... an electronic or whatever. Looks like someone's having a party in one of our rooms. They're being far too loud. Several guests complained already. Go find those party animals and quiet them down. Okay. So one or two just needs me to knock on the door kind of thing. Classic party animals. Yeah, so there was a thing that I got a, a notification that they're like, oh, hey, you've got a... Was it in here? Yeah, soundproofing. Soundproof rooms increase the guest satisfaction by one point. So, supposedly it's better. All sorted. You just knock at the door and they're like, oh my bad. It was only that easy in real life? I know, right? They're pretty active with the usual problems. Crack pipe, check. Loud noise complaints, check. No one should be the heating. The next one should be the heating or the air conditioning suddenly stop offering. I just get buying the detergent. Get buying the detergent. Alright, so we need another sofa. The PDA skills. Oh, I must have just unlocked that. Uh, when you ha use higher quality detergents, our rooms won't get dirty as fast. Now I have more time to improve stuff. Yeah, no, I must have unlocked that very recently. I didn't deliberately skip it. Let's see, there's black here. No near as black as the other one. I'm trying to make sure we're having it like it shouldn't matter they don't match at all but it's okay we're gonna live with it we'll just pretend for the fact that you'll be endeared with the uh asymmetry of everything that's those are interesting tables Ooh. I can get behind that table. For real life, there isn't a great way to position that. Like, no matter what, someone's getting screwed in this one. Now you need a holographic 3D television uh, for working 
for both sofas. Well, no, there's gonna be the one group who gets to watch television. The other group is, you know, just SOL. Yeah, so like, if I move, like, I'd have to crunch all these together closer. Maybe we actually do that. It kind of stinks because those cobwebs are actually acting like they're. Don't want to. Oh, good. Okay, cool. This actually works on them. I don't want to do it earlier because it's worth just smash holes in my wall and have to deal with it. They also don't seem to make a stink about them anyway, so like whatever. Oh, I got spotted in the sweep. The one on the Halloween thing stays. I also notice I still haven't painted the ceiling. Oh, that's right. I started painting the ceiling. I probably walked away too fast. So it never finished. Because I believe it went downstairs, so my guess is once we went downstairs, we're like no longer in the area or whatever. Alright, so with that, I should be able to scoot you all the way over. Here's I could scoot you over. Maybe we could slide this a bit more centered. And it's a bit snug, but it'll all fit in there. Yes, as we, we purposely left the cobwebs, it's our eco-friendly system mosquito control. Trademarked, by the way. I mean, yeah, it's eco-friendly. Plus, it's thematic, because we left the cobwebs against the flaming Halloween poster wall thing. That's just, that's just perfect. Yeah, side table for there. And I need two of the small sofas. I like that one, the scoop one. That's interesting design. Alright, I can get on board with that. It doesn't actually look comfortable because that back is straight up and down. It's a neat design, but I would I would want it to tip back at least a little bit. Hey, we have a problem. Our elevator's jammed. What do we do? Here's how we fix the elevator jam. We repair it ourselves. We equip our crowbar. We go smash, 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 smash. All better. Do they have those ones that are suspended from the ceiling? Uh, one of those would be perfect to the front of the window for T-Saving. Yeah, we don't have one of those yet. I could see them adding one of those later, maybe. Alright, so we need one rug.
I could see that. Again, for a rocker. Waiting a red card for the rocker? I debated that, except she specifically wants black. For, like, almost everything. And every time they wanted a color, it's like, they heckin' want the color. Oh man, that is quite the cabinet. Alright, um... Yeah, those get big enough that they don't fit in there. Okay, so I can put a large one in this area. That's the reason I keep doing this here. Or keep setting everything to be like a gray black. It's because I'm trying to satisfy that that need for everything to be black that they have. Alright, so I need to figure out where to put another one of these. Can't wedge that one in there. It's gotta be one I can, so it's gonna be this little one, unfortunately. You just got to live with that because she wants everything to be uh super high quality and uh and black. And shelves. These are going to be somewhat better. Well, that's an interesting one. Not a good fit for this room, but... One of those right here. And I went over there. Get with that later. Um, the one up here, one over there for right now. All right, so now I get to go to the bathroom, which is back here. Alright, so this person wants both the bathtub and the shower, which I did that for some of the rooms before because I'm like, come on, you'd want both. But this is the first one that's officially wanted both. She's also got access to fancier bathtubs than before. Does it matter what room you put them in? No, I don't believe so. Let me go with that. About the closer we're going to get. Let's see, make one massive bathroom and a tiny little dinky bedroom. Possible. Just literally box. Final boss, the top floor, you have to be able to 100% feng shui compliant in every aspect, getting degrees in geometry and quantum physics before attempting the strongly advised. Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, so we can get some nicer, fancier toilets. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I mean, this one's a little nicer than a lot of the ones we've had. 
I was say, not gonna lie, most of these don't actually seem that much nicer. Oh, one second. Put you there for a moment. Grab, grab you. Plunk you in this corner. Grab you. Go and put you there. Okay. And do you want a sink? Can I finally get a sink that's like actually in a cabin or something? Because you got all these fancy sinks, and that's oh cool, finally. You got some sinks that are like really nice. But by and large, I've been unenthused about them. Just because they're like these like the floating ones on the walls and all that, that like half of them did not look good. Alright, so now I need to get the cabinets. Alright. Inside toilet into the shower. The overworked businessman room. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I can put you here. Because we have the sink, like it'll be catty corn, which is a little weird, but that's okay. We have a cabinet for various things. So we need two decorations. Um, so as always, towels by there. Towels by the tub. And toilet paper by the toilet. They wonder if the wallpaper things are messing with your black score. You should be farther along than you are at this point. Yeah, we'll have to see. I'm going to try just going through it and then seeing where it ends up. But I have noticed it's not going up as much as I'd expect it. Let's see. They've got soap. Got towels. That takes care of that. Cool. So now we're at decorative designs. So now I just need a bunch of stuff. Because it could be we just need more decorations in this one than we normally need. We've got candles, we've got an angel, we've got a bust, a bunch of statues and all that. Let's see. Um... Jojo cup. Interesting. I see having that in the middle of the table. That's where the keys will go. People? Yep.
All right. Uh, sorry about that. Getting a little on the late side for me. But I want to get this room done first. I was looking at trying to do... Let's go back here. Where was our... All right, and we have to do some paintings. Let's see what we unlocked their new level. Let's get not staring that directly in our face. Those are tier two paintings, and we are up to tier three stuff. Is there not tier three stuff? Oh, wait. This is tier one and two. Um, okay, so I have to do select stuff from here. Chicken of Destruction is going somewhere in this place. I don't think it'll be predominantly displayed, but it will be displayed. There you go. What time do I uh, typically stream? I normally will stream from about 5 p.m. EST about 4 a.m. EST. Um, and I stream every days but Thursdays. So, we're actually a bit after I normally do stream, but we had like a generous raid and all that, so I'm like, you know what? I'll go a little long. But I will probably wrap up and not too terribly long, but don't go anywhere because I'll find someone for us to raid when that does happen. All right, so let's go ahead. Those plants down there, because I need to have two plants. Um, I need lights. Got some fancy choices now. So I like the idea of the column light here. There's some cleaning to do. It's fine. We'll deal with that in a minute. Drop one light in there. Need how many of these? Three. That would be how we light up this room entirely. Get you over. There you go. Not exactly what I want, but okay. Cool, so we've got those set up in there now. And now for the wall lights. Let's see which new ones we got. Um. Ooh, some of those get real bright. These would be fun to mess with. I'm sure later on I could use these to, uh... Did I turn them? No. I'd say those are one. these are ones I could, like, tuck behind things to make them glow. Um, there you go. Oh, nope. There you go. I just need to do three overhead lights. These are the new ones we've got. Um, got a crystal chandelier, that thing. Looks like a lot more fancy lights than we had before.
And I need a set of mirrors. One of the mirrors is definitely going in the bathroom, if not both. Okay, next bunch of... <laughs> Gotcha, yeah. That situation sucks. Fire of a thousand suns in some of these mirrors. For instance, I don't mind the whole, I want this car, but it seems a bit overboard. Yeah. It could be I don't actually have to go that hard on it. But it's kind of hard to tell. Because that thing doesn't go up fast. Man, those mirrors with the uh, the lights on them, it's like, I get it. It makes it so you can see yourself, like, see a little bit better and all that. But, dear goodness, what is this mirror even supposed to be? Oh, that's the mirror that stands up on the... That's kind of cool. That, that will put in this room. Actually, change my mind. We'll go... There's that mirror. Get the glowing square... Mirrors, put them here. And there. Um, and you also want electronics. Just fancier stuff we unlocked. Yeah, we get curved glass television. We're not done yet. Because we go to special. Just keep in mind, she is a guitarist. Drop an electric guitar there in the corner. Okay, so we did add a lot of black, but I don't know if we hit like the full quota of what black she wanted. But we made this a really nice place. I'm still bothered by the fact we have like the flowing stuff. Um, oh, is it uh, Yumiko's room? Um, the name of the character is Celine, but yeah, she's a she's a rock star. Okay, and it gives you a before and after. So that's what the room started looking like, and where it is now. It bothers me that we still have, like, the speckled dust in there. We can bounce around. Book the room. You're not... You're not Celine. Cool. Oh, man. She wants to get us 2200 a day for that room? Heck, yeah. That's way better than what you're making. Nailed it this time. Or is it because you left that cobweb? Maybe. Alright, they want me to sweep the uh, the main room. All right. I love the sweeping animation. I like where you can like launch the vacuum cleaner forward. Um, anyways, with that, it is going to be about that time. If you have enjoyed tonight's content, you aren't already following the channel. I really do hope you, uh, or sorry, I do hope you'll follow, but if you are enjoying tonight's content, and you aren't already followed. Don't forget to follow the channel. That way you can find your way back here in the future. In the meantime, we are going to go find some